pretty cool. Yeah, um, so it's Bob. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to RPG Limit Break 2016 from Salt Lake City in Utah. We are getting set up for the next game, which will be Robotrek, being run by PJ. So I'm going to go ahead and work through some of these donations that are left over from the Final Fantasy run while they're setting that up. We have an anonymous $80 donation that says, now for that duet, unfortunately not, uh, we have $25 towards the Kingdom Hearts Level 1 Unknown Battle, because it's a beast. $35 for naming the Morrowind character The Law, because we have to keep up Puri traditions. And another 20 for Riku Sucks. We have $74 from Snez that says, You know, I know you're just going to love singing, so I'm doing this as a favor. We have uh, a $5 donation from Kupo Kyle saying Final Fantasy puns for Final Fantasy speedruns part three. Why did the other summons not, why didn't the other summons invite Odin to their sleepover? Because they didn't want to sleep near him. Uh, ouch. Uh, WTF is Joe, sends $50 saying, I'm loving this marathon. Please keep up the great work for charity. Thank you for your donation, Joe. Um, and Zerka sends $50 as well, saying, Go, Kara. Kara, love. Thank you very much for all of your donations. Um, let's uh, see if we've got any more here. I have just gotten a $110 anonymous donation, so thank you for that one. And 2 bit marksman steps up with $20, saying, Bob Ross is the real American family man and must take his rightful place. Kappa Ross. So, thank you for that one, Marksman. for those of you let me uh, grab a few things here all right so while we are waiting for the tech setup on this one. Um, it's one of like, during the event, you'll hear us talk a lot about like incentives and prizes. Uh, this means that you get to vote with your wallet and name characters, get our runners to complete cool. difficult or sometimes ridiculous tasks or something like that. Uh, it'll, you can also help the pick, pick which story that you see in certain games. And with your donations, you also become eligible to win certain prizes during certain periods, which are all donated by uh, like community members and stuff. Uh, all of the donations do go to NAMI, which is the National Alliance on Mental Health, which is the charity we're here supporting yeah, that bad. we've currently raised like $10,000 for, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, NAMI, if you want to know more about NAMI, uh, do go to NAMI.org in order to understand how they're striving to raise awareness on the difficulties that those that suffer from mental health, uh, mental illness face. Um, and just do know that May is actually Mental Health Month. So it's especially poignant that we're doing that this month. Um, and while I've got this one last thing, uh, we are once again doing some work with the Yeti to bring you a bunch of absolutely awesome looking t-shirts. Uh, head over to the yeti.com slash RPG limit break to take a look at the designs. Uh, pick up the ones that you want and $3 from every t-shirt purchased will be donated to NAMI. And remember that the Yeti is spelled Y-E-T-E-E. -E -E. So that's the yeti.com 
slash RPG Limit Break. This intro. <laughs> <laughs> well edited. So, let's get our... We do have some bids that are ending. We have one bid that is end. Two bids. You have to make the first robot almost straight away, right, PJ? Yeah. All right. So we have the character name and the first robot that are going to be ending imminently. So don't wait. Get your donations in now. Oh, good. Good. And that's when you need the... <laughs> PJ. Yes? That's when you need the first robot color as well, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I can change the color at any point, technically. But Okay. Yeah, we'll do... <laughs> so are we, gonna do, are we doing <laughs> revolving colors? colors or? I mean, every single level, I can change the robot's color, but... I would prefer not to. Okay. If that's an option. <laughs> so we'll just take the first two. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, that's fine. Right now, we do have uh, in first place on the character name is Big Kazam <laughs> with $65. Uh, the first place on the robot color is Lime. Okay. And the first place in robot name is Cart 5. <laughs> uh, Rip Strim. The, the PJ this. specials. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this was brought on by you. I love this. So in the intro, they're like, what? these guys are causing trouble, and then they show them, and they're like, kicking sand castles, <laughs> <laughs> like, parking illegally. <laughs> they're bad. <laughs> bad dudes. <laughs> All right, so I'm, I'm pretty much set whenever. We, do we have other things to uh, straighten out first? No. <laughs> so while they're doing a Maybe. quick microphone check, test, test, out there test. in chat, let me see your boards. Any PJ subscribers in the chat? Uh, this is testing, testing, one, two, three. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, and if you guys could quickly do a roll call as well. Okay. Um, I'm PJ. I will be running this. I'm Meta Sigma. I'm just here. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have my notes. What are you doing here? <laughs> I forgot your index card. <laughs> index, on your business, business card. On the back of your business, business card. card. <laughs> of your other business card. Right, right. Because I have your other one right here still, so we're safe. So you that. have the one that doesn't have the notes. That's right. I, I at least have okay. the, at least one of your aliases. Good. Okay, Good. okay. Uh, I'm Omnigamer. I'm here for moral support. <laughs> All right. So, let's see here. Is it Kazam or is it Kazam? Kazam. It is spelt. Come on, reload, will you? There we go. It it, it is B A B I G K A Z M. Ah, big Kazam. Big Kazam. Very big All Kazam. Right. All right, I'm good. Speak uh, for yourself. I... <laughs> <laughs> Let's just start. Let's just start <laughs> over. Can we? We'll start from the ads, and then we'll do the stream refresh, and then we'll we'll start <laughs> over. Sure, why not? Edit. All right, I'm good. I'm good. Anytime. Yep. All right. Three, two, one, go. All right. So, hey everybody, this is uh, this is Robo Track. Uh, this is a game that most people did not know existed. Um, so this is this is an RPG that uh, absolutely does not take itself seriously by any stretch of the imagination. Um, the Japanese title for this is Slapstick, um, and then for some reason they changed it to RoboTrack, probably to make it more marketable to Americans who need everything to be sci-fi or something. Um, so what's happening here is that uh, we are the son of a famous inventor, Dr. Akihabara. We're going to go steal his stuff real quick. Um, and that also makes us an inventor, being the son of an inventor. So we just moved to this town. And, uh... Yeah, so there's there's this group of bad guys called uh, the hackers. They're apparently pirates or something, not like the computer hackers. But, um, whatever, they're bad guys. You saw all the bad stuff they were doing. They were kicking down sand castles. Making little girls cry. Making little girls cry. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we just moved here, so we have to introduce ourselves to the mayor and Dr. Einst over there. Uh, 
who bears no resemblance to anybody else. Um, but yeah, one of the really cool things about this game that I think sets it aside from um, a lot of other RPGs, stealing that guy's money real quick, uh, is that there are no like shops where you can actually buy equipment. You have to actually make equipment as you go. Um, so the route becomes really, really interesting. Do not bother her. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> 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 Alright, so um, our dad just moved here. He doesn't actually live with us. The only people that live here are me and Android Mom. Um, he lives somewhere else. So. Robots can be trusted. Robots can be trusted. <laughs> <laughs> you now understand robots. I'm going to steal his money, too. We're a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, our main character doesn't do any fighting himself. Uh, we have to make robots, and robots will do all the dirty work for us. So, and uh, this room that you're going to see is a room you're going to be seeing a lot of in this game. <laughs> I was about to ask, if this is all about inventing stuff, how do you invent things in this game? You use the invention machine. Oh! That clearly looks like a all right. Super Famicom no, controller. No, completely original computer device. <laughs> so these two guys are going to help. They're going to build me a robot. Um, we gave the plug earlier about the Yeti. They actually have a shirt um, that will probably look familiar now because it's uh, the whole invention machine on a, on a t-shirt, which is pretty neat. It's a really cool design. Um, but yeah, this is where you do all of your work. You can build robots, you can combine things, you can make new things in here. Um, and I'll be, I'll be talking in depth about all of the things that you can make and uh, the problems that come with that later. But first... Welcome to Cart Five. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna be—he's gonna be all caps, I guess. Yes. Are we doing a space or just? No, it's one. It's one. It's one, one, one thing. thing. All right. And he is lime green. He is lime green. And speaking of colors, the chat would like to congratulate the three of you of coordinating with the couch. Yep. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> we've got—we've got camo going on. Amen. All right. So the—the uh, the coolest thing in this game. Should be 9, 26, and 5. If Metasigma had the right business card, he could tell me. <laughs> I'm sorry I failed in my one job, DJ. <laughs> you had one job, Meta. One job. I can fix this job if it takes if you no, let me go. No, no I, don't leave. No, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, so one of the things that makes the routing for this really, really cool is that you can adjust your robot stats anytime you want to. And uh, the game made one critical mistake. And... Uh, Hold on, this is an important part. What, no naming incentives for your specials? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, hey, no. <laughs> we do want the marathon to end at some point. Yeah, you'll see him for a few frames once in a while. <laughs> All right, so, um, yeah, you can adjust your stats at any point, and the game counts HP as a stat, uh, which is going to be their undoing. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you start with 40 HP, and the game's like, alright, you should probably, you know, make a balanced robot, put some points in guard. Um, I'm gonna buy some smokes, that's literally the first thing I do. Um, so, yeah, you can take the points out of energy and uh, allocate them in other ways that the game is not really wanting you to do, and uh, you can hurt things really bad. Um, the smoke item is just like uh, like a smoke bomb in Final Fantasy, uh, except it has the added bonus of being able to use it on the map. So you're not just restricted to using it on uh, in battles. So I buy a bunch of those. I'm gonna get another cure. Open up these things. So scraps are another thing that you're going to see a lot of in this run. Uh, scraps are basically what you use to uh, to make new equipment. Um, every scrap kind of has a certain weapon class affinity. Um, let's see, did I get it? Now the other one's right here. Okay. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff I have to pick up at the beginning, or I'm going to be in really big trouble. But I got I got most of it. I didn't forget anything. Um, but yeah, the scraps you can combine with other scraps, or with uh, existing equipment, or with a clean, or a bomb, or a smiley face, <laughs> and you get all kinds of new and interesting things that you can use. Um, so yeah, the scraps are extremely important in this game. That guy right there, the guy that looks like the referee, 
he is a hacker. He is a bad person. Uh, but my dad scared him away using the surprise horn. Scared? He probably <laughs> blew his ears off. He, he, might, he might have actually given him head, mild head trauma. But like it's a okay. shit or something. <laughs> surprise, surprise horn is friends. Surprise! <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> what? I can't hear you. All right. So... This guy, he's got the plan, right? So Dr. Akihabara won't cooperate with them. They want to capture him because he's the brilliant inventor guy. Um, and they want to do evil things with him. So they're going to try and get to him by capturing me. Um, and instead, I'm not going to let that happen. <laughs> so Cart 5 is a powerful being. <laughs> um, <laughs> when I was going in that menu next to my stats, it allowed me to... Uh, you know, when Omnigamer is giving me sass about not naming things. Uh... I programmed some special attacks for my robots, and uh, those are obviously available from the beginning of the game, but uh, unless you actually have like a boxed copy of it, which came with like a big poster with all kinds of items and information and stuff like that, you're never going to figure out what those things do. Yep. So our robots can equip something on left hand, right hand, and backpack, and uh, you can program those in different sequences. So if you do uh, melee attack, melee attack, melee attack, they just swing three times. But if you do gun, melee attack, melee attack, the robot like dashes all the way across the screen and then strikes twice. So the one that I just used is melee attack, bomb, melee attack, which teleports you <laughs> in front of the enemy in every single row and hits them once. Um, and it does, it does things to this game. Yep. So that's how most of the battles are going to be going. Uh, there are several exceptions, but that's how most of them are going to go. Um, it should be at point seven experience. We're going to play a game called Try to Count to Two. Uh, I'm hoping it was the mine and not the bird. Yeah, it is the mine. The mine. Okay. Okay, point nine. So the reason that I have to monitor my experience so carefully in the very, very uh, early game is because every time you level up, the game lets you use the invention machine right there. Like, straight away, you can use the invention machine and combine things and adjust your stats and whatnot at 1.1. And our first level's uh, at 2, 2 experience, or 2 uh, mags. mags of memory. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so we want to reach level 2 at a very particular point. It should be 1.5. Okay. 200 gold. Nice. That's good. Early money is good. Money is important in this game. <laughs> Hopefully there's two. Yeah, all right, we're perfect. We're going to be 0 0.1 experience away from a level, so that's, Just where you uh, be. that's spectacular luck. Speaking of spectacular, can I pop in with that quick donation? Yeah, absolutely. From Scytheborg, I have $500. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Scytheborg. And it says, hey, PJ, good luck with the run. Donation can go to Runner's Choice. And what was your Runner's Choice? Uh, so I want the Dragon Emperor route in Seiken Densetsu 3. So, oh, yeah. Which go. is going to be a few days from now. Wait, wait is it overnight tonight? Or is it... When is that? I thought it was on Thursday, but I don't think it is. I do not remember. Seiken Densetsu right now begins around 4 a.m. on Wednesday morning. So... Yeah, the overnight... Tonight, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the overnight tonight. So Dr. Eins, so yeah, what's happening here? There are some kids trapped in the cave, and they call Dr. Eins, their their best inventor, and he may have just blown up the cave and killed the children. Uh, so we're gonna try and actually save the children now. But he makes sure to take all of your money anyways. Right? Yeah, he took the mayor's money and, and he it. basically acts like no one understands his inventions. No, they don't. Inventions are always failures. You heard him. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, excuse me, Mr. Windup guy. I shouldn't need this. This is another cure. Cures fully heal your robots, um, which is not actually going to even be an option for the second half of the game, but <laughs> depending on how terrible the game wants to treat me in the next or the first boss fight, I might need several of them. So, yeah, here we go. Rusty drill. The rusty drill. Uh... So this is where the game kind of force feeds you into the, the combination stuff. Directly north of the, the rusty drill is a caved-in wall. So you have to take the rusty drill and clean it up in the, uh, the invention machine. 
and then you get the actual drill, and you can drill through walls and proceed. So that's why I want to level up right here, because I'm right next to the wall that I need it for. Uh, so, drill possible. Hopefully it works. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, no, the uh, I get asked, like, every time I do a run of this, can it actually fail? Why does it say possible? Um, I don't know why. It just... This game's translation is a bit... wrong. <laughs> uh, but it, it adds a lot of character. So the other thing I do, I, I polished up uh, Scrap 5, and that gives me a shield. Shields are absolutely busted in this game. Um, don't forget to equip it. Thank you. My one job. I'm done. Yeah, I, uh... High five, Omni. <sighs> I'm done. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Alright, here's my drill. Yay! We saved the kids. <laughs> they just run away. Yeah, we're not just, saved. <laughs> that guy, I'm sure he'll be fine. <laughs> we'll just leave him there. I do have a uh, donation with a question for you, PJ. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Alright, it's uh, a $10 donation from EPM, and it says, It didn't even start, and the webcam broke. Did you bring your radiation detector, PJ? No, oh, shoot. I actually didn't bring my radiation detector. Okay. Oh, and they would I'm like sorry. To, they, <laughs> and they would like to propose a new donation incentive, if it's okay with you. Oh, I no. am not going to say yes until you tell me what well, it is. Well, if you let me finish the sentence, no. I will. <laughs> no, it's too late. It's too late, Bob. You screwed it up. <laughs> Good job. Is to have the player's name signed into the book as Iwata. Would you be okay with that if we were to put a donation incentive? Uh... Signed into the book? Yeah, into the guest book, maybe? I don't know what that is. I don't know either, but that's what the, the donation says. I'm okay with it if I know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Can we get the research team on that one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and speaking of uh, bad uh, translations as well, I have a... Ah, okay. Uh, I have a $5 donation from Roiteo, who says, PJ, I'm sure your viewers like you. Be careful and go broke. <laughs> well, Puexel won the gamble. He was wondering how long it would be before someone referenced it. It uh... actually came through before the run started. Wow. Mm. Yes. GG. And I've got Lord Haiti with a $10 no, no, saying, no, no, no. if you manage to somehow soft lock, I will triple my donation. Keep your electronics away from the computer screen if you value your life. That's a small warning for people at home there. And it does seem like that was actually a donation for the Earthbound Runner. So why oh. did they tell me to ask you? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I get my team. consent. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I did a whole bunch of important things there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we saved the children, and we just went and rubbed it in the mayor's face. Neener, neener, neener. I'm not Dr. Reince. Uh Well, you're not content with that. You have to go read some books. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So uh, that green-haired kid that I didn't save, uh, his name's Carl. Uh, he's probably dead, <laughs> but we're gonna go make sure. We're gonna go finish. We're gonna, we're gonna go finish the job. <laughs> um, yeah. So his uh, the mayor's secretary is Carl's mom. Um, so she sent us back in to go try and figure out where he is. Uh, so that was the first thing, and then we went and we talked to our oh, dad. Here. These here spiders are zoning me like <laughs> wow. crazy. Okay. <laughs> I never actually seen them walk that close to each other before. The spiders are really dangerous in this cave. Yes. Yeah, the spiders right now are not actually possible for me to kill. Um, so yeah, we don't we don't want to say hi to them. Uh, so yeah, then we talked to our father. He's like, "Wow, you saved the kids, huh?" Anyways, I'm going on a trip. Bye. Uh, watch my cat. <laughs> Great parenting. <laughs> so uh, he's gone, and then uh, the other thing. So in addition to combining things, okay, he didn't drop the punch too. Didn't Aww. get the, the god oh. rare drop. <laughs> the meta crab. Um, yeah, meta crab. He's a good guy. So in addition to combining equipment to get new equipment, um, you can also use the invention machine to just straight up build equipment. You pay money to the gnome guys, and they uh, they give you something in return. And you're limited in what you can make by your level. So the book that I read was Inventor's Friend Level 2. And uh, your experience level is basically your character's intelligence. So as he levels up, he gets smarter and can read more and more complicated books, which teach him how to build more and more complicated things. So at level 2, I was able to read Inventor's Friend 2, which teaches me how to make sword. Excuse me. 
<laughs> He's having none of yeah. this. <laughs> oh my god, someone's here! Someone's here! <laughs> so yeah, that's that's what happens there. I need sword because I'm going to turn it into something that's not a sword and it's going to hurt people bad. Um, well, that that attack all special can't miss, right? The attack all special. Well, I think it can actually. Okay, yeah. I think it can. Oh, the the teleport slash yeah. thingy. Yep, yeah, definitely can miss. It's okay. um, it's based on your speed. So right now the enemies have a pretty low speed because you're a low level and you're not really going to be able to pour 50 points into speed. The spiders, though, Oof. have really high speed. So even if I was able to hit them, it wouldn't kill them. But I would I would not be able to hit them. They would laugh. Yeah, they would laugh they and would... punch me. Yeah. They're, they're angry. They're so angry. <laughs> They'd probably right. stop you just to spite you first. Oh, yeah. You know. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> So, um, this is like a hacker base mining operation thing, and uh, they're looking for something. We don't know what it is. Well, I do, but I'm not going to tell you. Um, it's a secret. Yeah. So, that was like the, uh, basically the slave camp. They have uh, these prisoners that are going to be digging for them. Um, hello. Ooh. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure we just found the secret rare drop. <laughs> Good job, Omni. Your shirt's I, working again. Yep. <laughs> so I know for... so. <laughs> every enemy can drop up to three things. And I know for a fact he can drop two different gold values. So that's two of them. And then suddenly sword one. So that's that's got to be the, the what, 0.4% drop or whatever yeah. that, the lowest one is. It doesn't help us at all. Like, I I already have a sword one, and I can now build it. But... All right, level three is a really important level two. So, the reason that it's important that I equip the shield is because it means the gun goes in my inventory, and I can combine gun with scrap two to get shot two. Um, it's a little bit stronger. It's like 10, 10 power stronger. It's very significant at this point. And I also need a really particular set up here. 9, 35, 12, 4. Looks right. I hope it's right. I forgot the notes. And I think that's it. So I think we're okay. Um, is he going to give me a secret rare? No. 140 gold. <laughs> that's a normal one. <laughs> you won't listen to reason. Kids who don't understand will be punished. Yeah. All right. Okay, so what we're looking for now is a key. Uh, we just kind of gave up on Carl because we're pretty sure he's long gone. Yep. So our, our plan now is to save Kotetsu, that guy that definitely does not look like Lance from Illusion of Gaia. <laughs> so Metacraft's taking a bath, and we're going to accidentally boil him instead. <laughs> Speak, so. Speaking of which, I have a $10 donation from Proto Man asking, is this run crab safe? Nope. No. <laughs> it was. <laughs> not, it's not anymore. You murdered my pet, you jerk. I'm sorry. <laughs> he had it coming. <laughs> he said he wasn't even in the water, dude. That's his <laughs> fault. <laughs> All right, so it's time for Metacrab to report on the, uh, the status of the digging operation. What? You haven't fixed the screen yet? <laughs> All right. <that's... laughs> so they mistake me for guy with crab face. Don't forget the next information. Is it a crab face or is he a crab? He is a crab. He is. Well, he has the rest of his body though. Is that just like? I never mind. I shouldn't have asked anything. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore <don't> me, please. <laughs> I don't know. He he becomes crab. I'm trying to make sense of this game. This is my first problem. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, we're already at the... Oh, boy. That's, that is that's a, a nice strong capsule, one. capsule positioning. I'm going to just leave. Yep. Um, I, <laughs> waits until the smoke clears and then just turns around and goes. Uh, if a capsule is directly next to an enemy and I try and use that teleport slash thingy, uh, what actually happens is that my robot lands on the capsule, the capsule explodes, and the explosion hits the enemy for, like, one damage. And then I'm there with uh, no ATB meter, and they just shoot me. So, it's definitely the better option to just leave. Now, what exactly can be in those capsules, by the way? Oh, boy. All <laughs> kinds of things. <laughs> so, I think there's like eight different options. Um, you can open them up by just smacking them with a melee weapon. Okay. And uh, 
So two options are bonus experience. If you finish uh, before the timer expires, then you get bonus experience, either 0.5 or 1.0 max, which is enormous at this point in the game. Um, you can also get an equipment level up, so your equipment gets a little bit more powerful. Um, you can get a bomb. <laughs> Like, Big Bomb is yeah. just inside, you, and then all of the other ones just explode and damage you. This guy. Oh. So what I'm going to do is make him shoot that, and now I'm going to kill him. So that's good. Uh, when you enter this door, with my old route, it was actually a pretty dangerous thing, because that enemy always gets initiative on you. And uh, with my old route, I would have 1 HP, and just like, smash things and hope that I don't get hit. Um, but this is a new route. Um, I'm, I'm pretty much the only Western runner of this game. But there is a pretty active Japanese community that just came up, like, I don't know, maybe a year ago or so? Yeah, sounds about right. Um, so this is, this is a route that is based off of the one that they came up with. Um, there are some minor tweaks to fit my preferences. But <laughs> this, is, uh, this is more or less what they came up with. It was a, a pretty ingenious route. Just to break in for a second, we did just break 11,000 Yeah. Nice. Woo! Nice work, everybody. Thank you, everybody. And part of that was a $100 donation from Keck Lion saying, the best of luck on the run, PJ. It was super lucky I was out sick from work on the day of your run. <laughs> <laughs> Bored forever. Thank you. Let's see boards in the chat. All right, it's time for the first boss fight. Um... Did you get gun too? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I equipped gun, I saved. And I have the right stat distribution. <laughs> this kid. So kid, Carl is a badass. <laughs> <laughs> that crab wants no part yeah, of it. Yeah, just throwing bombs. So the stat distribution is really important here. I want uh, 35 power to be able to kill this guy in ideally 10 shots still. I want 12 guards that no matter what he does, um, it'll do one damage to me. Uh... And then I want four charge because... <laughs> um, charge is the stat that controls how fast your ATB or fuel meter fills. Nice block. There we go. That's why shields are good. Yep. Um, on top of that, might do two. Oop. It's all right. He won't be able to hit me with a melee attack. He's going to try soon. That's what you think. <laughs> Um, on top of that, if you mash the B button, your meter fills up faster. So four charge is the lowest, the lowest charge value that you can have. You won't be able to reach. Um, to actually get a turn every time he shoots one of those balls. Except now I won't be able to because he moved closer, so the the uh, the travel distance is a lot a lot shorter. But it's really important to be able to take an action for every one of his. So now we get to the scary part. He's maybe four shots away from being killed, uh, but he can hit me with a melee attack, and it'll do five. So we, want, really... we want small crab to just wander and give me shifty eyes for a while. <laughs> I, I love the small crab. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> small crab is so good. <coughs> All right, good. Nice, we got him. So that's one of the scariest parts of the run. Well, that's not true, actually. There's a lot of scary parts, but... <laughs> Pretty much everything on from here is scary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Level to five is interesting. I guess I didn't pick up enough experience. So, I need four of this, 31 speed, one power, and that's it. Okay, so I want to reach level six before I escape the cave, but there are plenty of enemies. Yeah, now he's tiny crab. Oh, master, you're so strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he pays me off now. <laughs> Do you want to say a little bit about the stats themselves? Oh yeah, sure, we could do that. So energy is uh, your HP, it's pretty simple. Um, power is how much damage you do to enemies, guard is how much damage you take from enemies. And then speed is your evasion rate and your hit rate, um, which is arguably the most important stat in the game. If you don't have sufficient speed, you'll just get clobbered and you will lose. Yep. Um, and then charge is how fast the ATP meter fills, which is... Really not critical at all, um, because you either kill the entire encounter in one attack, or it's a boss fight, where they're so slow moving that you'll get a turn anyways. Um, so we're going to be focusing on power and speed for the most part. 
we're point far away, so we'll be able to reach that. Can I jump in with a donation quickly? Yes. I have a ten dollar donation from LLK, mm. who says, "PJ, Punky John." <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, LLK here. I'm really enjoying the marathon. I actually have had zero sleep, but there oh, wow. is no way I am missing out on Robotrek. I never actually got to play this game, but it looks cuter than a pile of rainbow kittens wearing slippers yeah. <laughs> having, having a sing-along on a mountain made of candy unicorns. At least until PJ undoubtedly causes the cart to explode in a nightmare fireball and burns the whole place down. Anyway, keep it up. And let's keep that glitch showcase for Draken. Yep. Trust oh, me, boy. you will never unsee these glitches. Yeah, no. <laughs> Your life will be forever divided into two eras. Pre-Draken <laughs> and post-Draken. Yeah, Draken is a problem. Godspeed, nerds. <laughs> Thanks, Lindsay. Yeah. Uh, so speaking of LK, um, make sure you check out theyeti.com. Mm -hmm. um, they've got a bunch of shirts, I think eight shirts for RPG Limit Break. Mm -hmm. One of which is a design that she submitted, um, Pots and Pans. Yes. Which will make a lot more sense <laughs> after Draken. <laughs> that is a special. In the post Draken world. Um, but yeah, definitely check that out. Speaking of pots and pans, a quick $10 donation says, had to donate for the PJ run. This is anonymous. And it just says, begin negotiations. <laughs> <laughs> so. Carl somehow escaped before me and then snuck in my house and then had the audacity to say I'm late. <laughs> so we're not friends with this kid. <laughs> um, so he felt bad that the, the stuff that we got was useless garbage in the cave, although joke's on him, scrap one is the god. Uh, so he gives us more stuff that we, we don't care about. But what we do care about is what's going to happen to people after this. <laughs> so now you're going to get to see how this whole... Uh, this whole combination mechanic works. So I read two books, Inventor's Friend 2 and Inventor's Friend 6. Uh, 2 lets me make Sword 1, 6 makes, lets me make Hammer 1. And every weapon, every piece of equipment really, um, has a tier and then a level. So the tier in Sword 1's case is the 1. Uh, the level is the level 1 that comes afterwards that you can't really see right there. So um, incrementing the level makes the weapon more powerful. Incrementing the tier sometimes changes the characteristics of the weapon very drastically. Um, it also usually increases its power as well. So, uh, what I'm going to be doing here... Well, actually, no, I, I suppose more generically, if you combine two uh, weapons of the same class together, you increment the level of the, uh, the higher tiered weapon. But in this case, they're all sword one. So what I'm doing right now is just combining them all together. I think I'm just like duct taping them together. <laughs> sword, sword. Now I have level three. <laughs> um, so I want to combine all these until I get sword one level seven. And then I'm going to tape a hammer to it. And then it's going to become an ax. <laughs> um, and that's Inventing gonna get... is fun. Yeah. <laughs> so that becomes ax one level eight. And so uh, I guess to give you some kind of perspective of uh, on how strong this weapon is. Sword, I think, has a base power of 10, and I think it increases by two every level. X1, Sounds level right. eight, is gonna give me 90 attack power, I think. Uh, so that's gonna be doing some serious work. <laughs> uh, and the game doesn't really expect you to be saving your scraps and know how to do combination stuff. Um, I need one more sword. Uh, and that's the way that the game kind of gets around that. If you're like, oh, no one's going to make an axe straight away. They're, they're going to make a, a sword too first. But uh, if you know about it, then you can. So a lot of the routing for this game is kind of knowing what scraps to pick up and when to save them, when to use them to make ridiculously powerful equipment really early on. So there we go. Hex 1 level 8. Um, I'm actually going to be making two of these, but not, not the second one quite yet but we are not, not done with the invention room yet. <laughs> All right, so 126 power now. Speaking of the invention room, how long do we have before we have the second robot being put together? Uh, 15, 20 minutes. All right, so what we're actually going to do is we're going to cut the colors off at the same time, and we'll have the final two colors done at the same time. If you guys want to influence either the, the name of the second robot or, or the color of either robot, Get your donations in now. Do not wait to snipe. Uh, we will be doing one final refresh Meow. when it comes up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. So the hackers, so the hackers get spooked by the spooky music that played. <laughs> they yeah. got scared by their own their own theme song and ran away. <laughs> Uh, then no, that's actually what happened. Um, the game does not take itself seriously. You should know this by now. So, anyways, Father decided to leave us a letter buried in his cabinet, even though he already told us that he's going on a trip. Um, and the clue that you get here, this is where a lot of people will get stuck normally, is that he says, don't forget what I always say when you're here. Um, and what he says is, since we're close, let's visit your ancestor's grave. Uh, we only see that dialogue once in the, uh, the speedrun. But, I mean, he says it every time you go visit him. So you're, that's supposed to be your clue to go and kick down the grave and go inside <laughs> and see what's, grave. see what's going on down here. Monk? Monk, yep. Yeah, so we're at the point in the game where if I miss an attack, it's game over. Uh, which is why I have 31 speed. If you have around 20... Nice, good job. If you have around 26 speed, it should be impossible for you to miss. But I know better than to trust impossibility with these guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we get a little bit of overkill. Like, the rest of our stats really don't matter. Our axe is so powerful that it's... Now, I could kill this guy ten times over. I think he has 20 health. So, he's, he's getting hurt bad. <laughs> so, a thousand gold because crafting is extremely important. We get that spare axe. You might be wondering why we picked up an axe when we already have one. Uh, but that axe is going to become a very powerful axe, and then we're going to tape the one that we have right now to that one. Um, so yeah, it, it's good to pick that up. Who's this guy? This guy is Rask. He is our ancestor. Oh. Um, I actually don't remember what he says during that dialogue, and I didn't just read it. But at some point, he tells you that he made these things called Tetron, and they're very important, and we should go take them. Um, and it turns out Stone One is one of those, and the other one is in Count Prinky's house. Which is Arrow. <laughs> Count Prinky? Count yep. Prinky. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So this is the Forest of Illusion. It's uh, I'm gonna take one of these guys. It's pretty pretty interesting. This is uh, the route through the Forest of Illusion that the Japanese runners came up with. Go left, go back in the room, and suddenly we're here. Use the smoke. <laughs> that bird was on to your bird, tricks. Bird almost showed me the business. <laughs> he saw you from the other room. Yeah. He was... Oh, he's coming. You ready, spiders? <laughs> All right, so this is Mint. I don't like her. Uh, Mint is like a necessary plot element like three times in every one of these little story arcs. So chances are if I have to do something, I have to go find Mint in the dungeon and talk to her. So, she made it to the Forest of Illusion and made it all the way through <coughs> until the straightaway and then got lost. Uh, so we escort her, uh, we finished the job. Bring her to the old, old mansion. So this, this place used to have a significant amount of grinding and instead now there's none. Uh, the new route is pretty powerful. But, uh, this is a place that's also very confusing. And the, the game's not really good at telling you what you should be doing. Like, the plot triggers, the ones that would advance the plot, don't actually tell you what to do afterwards. They're just like, oh, here you are. What are you doing here? And then they leave. And then you have to go find what else to do. So um, playing through this game for the first time can be pretty, pretty confusing for a lot of these parts. But, uh, hmm? I was going oh, to we offer were the offering help. The, no, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> Hey, you, <laughs> and, and cutscene. So, yeah, that's Rask talking to Prinky and Igor. What? Hello. Scary doll. <laughs> so this is like reverse escort quest. He's escorting me through, but he doesn't really know it yet. Um, like there's a door at the top of this room that's not really locked, but you can't open it. It just, like, gives you a weird dialogue, something. So you have to wait for him to go up there first. But if he spots you, then you have to go back and take a nap again. So, I'm, I'm having flashbacks of, I think it's Giles from Lagoon. Oh, The opposite yeah. way. Yep. Not not digging this. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no. No. So the, uh, the Inventor's Friend books, it's actually really clever. The game kind of hints at what level you should be at in each of these dungeons. The doll is on a bookshelf right now that has Inventor's Friend level 8. And, um... There's also Inventor's Friend 9, 10, 11 in this place. So when you're playing through the first time and you check all these bookshelves, 
you're like, okay, I should probably be around level 11 for this area. Mint fell. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Mint. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, now that she's gone, we can read this book in peace. It's a special video book. John Paul Belmont? Yeah. Yep. John Paul Pel Belmont. Prick, prick, prickly? Pranky? Pranky? Pranky, yeah. Prinkles? Prinkles? Prinkles. Puddles? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't go to puddles. <laughs> Muddles and puddles are not in this one. <laughs> yeah, he's he's the Belmont that, like, he wasn't around for the revival of Dracula. He's yeah, just, like, the, the in-between generations. <laughs> <laughs> he built a mansion and then and a clock tower. Oh. So he knows kind of what to do, but... Well, stop reading now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so he just gives us the grand tour, and he's like, anyways, here's a mansion you're stuck in. You should go explore these other places. So we're going to fall down the pit instead. All right, so I've got four force battles here, so if we have some donations, you can Oh, I've uh, got quite a few waiting up here. Some. All right. So I have a $50 donation from Epic Kai 13 who says, shout-outs to PJ and his chat regulars for making me laugh and smile during the rough patches I had last year. You always helped me during the depression and anxiety phase of my life, so I donate for all of you guys. Team PLC, Omni, Yagamoth, Pink Paperclip Guy, Zanetrix, Seawool, Tofu, so many others I can't even remember right now because I... Because, well, I made some pretty poor life choices myself last night, drinking a ton of Hennessy. Uh, and speaking of poor life choices, all hail the demon lord Borka Borkabo! Borkabo. Uh, Borkabo. Uh, don't don't do it, Lindsay. No. <laughs> Science has come too far. Squaw! We have a $10 anonymous donation saying. Seeing a speedrun of Robotrek brings a brick smile to my face as I would constantly rent this game when I was young. Looking forward to the rest of the speedruns this week, watching other RPGs I played when I was a kid get destroyed. <laughs> oh, and Meta, where is Flex? Mmm. Wow. <laughs> Just a, the raw shutdown. <laughs> I apologize, Anonymous, but Meta is having none of your shenanigans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a PJ run. I don't want to... <laughs> You don't, to, you don't want to risk anything. No. <laughs> you could have just said you left it with your notes. <laughs> Meta had to check his guns at the door. Yeah. 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 Weapons of mass destruction. You know how it and is. And I, I have a, an anonymous $50 donation going, we could have a new donation instead of as long as PJ will stay on stream by himself for an extra week playing Seventh Saga. <laughs> <laughs> you have trained for this moment, PJ. Make it happen. <laughs> I don't think trading is the right word. No, with that it's not the right word. <laughs> <laughs> I've got uh, one more. It says, anonymous $60 donation that says, my friend likes Pokemon, so I'm donating to name the Yaokai watch character Thune. Yaokai is a Pokemon, right? Wow, wow, wow. What is that dog's okay. name? Parsley. Parsley, that's right. Yep. Prinkly and Parsley. I was like, why? Pugsley. Yeah. Pugs yeah. So we found Flavin. Uh, he was supposed to be on a trip with my dad, and said he's in the basement of a mansion. So he screwed up bad. Uh, and he lost his dog. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go get his dog back. Uh, the reason I saved is because that enemy, the ghost guy, his name is Ho Ho. Um, he is also dangerous. So besides, like we mentioned, that spiders are really, uh, really hurtful people. <laughs> and uh, in addition to them just being really fast and being able to uh, to dodge our attacks. The more important thing is that they have uh, what we call run resistance. So the commands that I programmed in are actually programs, and the command that you use to use them is just run. Like, your robot literally just executes a program, and it's some combination attack. Uh, and some enemies have resistance to all varieties of the run command. So if I get in a battle with them and I try and use that teleport attack, instead of doing like 120 damage, it'll do like six, and then they kill me. So I just don't want to fight them. Um, in this place, every single enemy except for the flames has run resistance. <laughs> Stop it, dude. Okay. So the flames are really the only enemies that we want to fight. I want him to... Okay. I want him to move away. Uh, so one of the other things, I kind of hinted at it before, but the way that battle initiative works is a bit peculiar. 
Um, if you walk into an enemy head-on, then you get initiative. But, I guess in general, if the game thinks that you're trying to avoid an encounter, it'll have the enemies go first. So, if we're offset by a tile and moving towards each other, the game's like, Oh, you just tried to run past that enemy. He gets to go first now. And it's also weird, like, if an enemy walks into you and you're standing completely still, sometimes the game just gives initiative to them. What did so, you just do to their heads? I bl bl Surprise horn. Oh. They're ears, they're, <laughs> okay. Yeah, they have no more ears. They're just scared. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these guys are the best guards. Those, those three standing around the door just ran right through the intruder. <laughs> this guy here is guarding Mint for some reason. Why do I have to guard such a pest? Because everybody's going to flicker the lights. Can I quickly give a update on the naming before we get there? Yeah, sure. All right. For the second robot, we have Giles in first place with $101. And in second place, we have Ford with $100. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, my. So okay. Okay. It is all, uh, we've got about, what, five minutes, maybe? Uh, yeah, we should probably, yeah, we'll cut it off in five minutes. Uh. All right. And as for the colors, right now, uh, pink is in the lead with board pink, black okay. in second. Board black. Oh, boy. And we're actually going to cut that off completely when we make the second robot as well. So. Okay. All right, so we saved Mint. She is really of no importance to the storyline, but we have to save her anyways. Um, Count Brinky here. So he was upset because that dog was just hanging out in his room, and he didn't want the dog in the room. So he brought the dog out, and now he's like, sweet, you can use this room. By the way, it's an invention machine. Um, those existed 100 years ago, too, <laughs> in the exact same form. How else were you going to invent stuff? All right, come here, you. Uh, these guys don't have run resistance, so I can fight them, but their experience is not really worth it. Alright, so... Hmm. Hmm. That will work. <laughs> 309. <laughs> oh, poor fella. So when Flavin... Repair? Nice. Dude, the, the drop lock is ridiculous right now. Shh. When, when, uh, when Flavin gave us the light, he was like, yeah, I'm going to go take a nap in the West Hall. Um, and this guy found him, and he's going to interrogate him. <laughs> You'll get in trouble. I like this guy a lot. I'll show you pain. This is going to hurt. <laughs> All right, That's dude. how I greet everybody. <laughs> yep. Poor fella. So, yeah, he, he tried to interrogate Flavin, and... It was painful. It was a close call. I didn't recognize you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. The dialogue just... It's all over the place. All right. I'm going to be building second robot, uh, like, in one minute from now. So yep. We will... Uh, uh, we'll do the final refresh now. All right. Though the tracker is being a little bit laggy, so... All right, so Flavin was like, hey, man, we should get into the clock tower, but uh, Parsley found the key and buried it somewhere. Oh, uh, thanks. Take and I don't know off. where. So if only we had an invention that let us talk to animals. And uh, that's all we need to apparently know how to build an invention that lets us talk to animals. So oh. we're going to go take care of that. Okay. All right, what are we, we looking at? We are looking at uh, the colors being pink and board black. Sec Pink for the first Pink robot, for the first one? Board, okay. back for, board black for the second one. And then our robot names, the second one will be named Giles. Okay. Your attempt at Giles theme failed, yeah. so your name makes no sense now. You're not allowed to make a third robot, PJ. Yeah. I... Well, if you were to make a third robot right now, it would be called Bored. Ah, okay. So, <laughs> so the third robot's Giles still on the table. Bored. <laughs> still on the table. So Relay lets us talk to, uh, talk to animals. <laughs> And now we're going to make other robot. We're going to make Giles right now. And that is in all caps. Okay. I love these gnome guys. Yeah, they're the best. I like the giant plug on this side. Not grounded, though. So. Uh, they're not up to code. Yes. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> all right, so the reason that I have a second robot is because my first robot is going to become incredibly frail very soon. 
Um, so you said pink and black? The first, one be pink, pink. the first one is pink, so... Uh, and you, and Giles know. is black. Yes. Can confirm spelling? Yep. Sure, why not? And just in case we do end up with a board, he would be live. Sweet, okay. Pink, let's see. It's gonna be a lot of red and a little bit of blue, maybe? Oh yeah. Oh yes. That's, oh, that's yeah. looking good. That's offensively pink. Yes. <laughs> wow. What did I come back into? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there was a whole thing that happened. You didn't miss anything. Oh, okay. Sounds like a normal thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we have relay. We're going to go talk to dog. So the best thing about talking to animals in this game is that they continue to bark at you. I'll tell you something special. Woof. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess when they talk, they just keep interjecting onomatopoeia in the middle of it. All right. So we can go in the clock tower now. This is, a, this is a really unfortunate place to try and navigate the first time because it seems like you'd just be able to go right back out the door, but there's like one-way staircases in here that uh, don't let you do things. And just in case you were wondering, it was Reno Plus that donated $34 to get Giles over the top <laughs> by saying, PJ, don't forget, forget to build a solar pack. Do it. <laughs> Praise the sun. <laughs> Do it for liquid. Yeah. Put this towards a certain Street Fighter 2 character stage music for the second robot name. Read a plus if you please send me your email address. PJ is coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we we know Rena plus. Yeah, we know. We'll have some words. <laughs> just what just a few. Words? Just a few very loud words. <laughs> yeah. Might just be the same word over and yeah, over yeah. again. <laughs> I feel like I had something I was about to say, and it's just gone. It's, that's dead forever. We're in the clock tower. We are. We are. So the clock tower is another place where they just kind of scatter switches all over, and they don't really tell you what they unlock. You just have to kind of know. <laughs> I love those guys. Franken? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Franken's, Franken's, great. Franken's amazing. He yells at you. His attack is that he just, like, it looks like he takes a big gulp of air and just screams at you. Kind of like I would do? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or like the, the Trio of the Punch special. <laughs> the words just bounce all over the screen. Yeah. All right. So once again, we have to go find Mint because I don't even know how she makes it past all the monsters. I really don't. I wish she didn't. You speak mouse, squeak? So there's a whole bunch of really cool side stuff that you can do in the that clock tower too. Like there's a, a hidden wall on the left side here, or a hidden door in the wall. You can get a scrap six and all kinds of other cool stuff, but I don't need that. I have axe. So the uh, there's a minor detour that we're gonna be taking here. That switch in the mouse room opened up this door over here. And uh, I'm going to save because Things are going to happen. Uh-oh. There's two forced encounters, and the guy on the right has uh, run resistance. So I think I should be powerful enough to explode him still. But I've been getting really, really terrible encounter luck. I should have been level 7 a while ago. Mm. Um, but it's okay. It's not going to make a huge difference. All right, here we go. Oh, actually, this will be fine, because I can use the back attack. Well. Nice. Uh, back attacking does give you a damage bonus mm -hmm. uh, to your normal attack, so anytime you can actually maneuver around an enemy, you would like to do so. But and but PJ is just too powerful right now; it really doesn't matter. Yeah, they're gonna die in one hit regardless. Yeah. <laughs> just sending in one guy at a time. <laughs> so ideally, since you're going to be killing the whole screen at once, you want them to just drop three enemies right on you. Um, and this is really the last point where it's actually important. I'm gonna kill this guy. He will give me level seven, and I need to be level seven for the. Okay. Oh dear. Well, time to roll the bones. Okay. 
Okay. Ooh. Just enough. Whew. All right. Cool. So, uh, since we have a backup robot, we no longer care about Card Five being alive. So <laughs> that's actually quite true. Isn't yeah. It? <laughs> We're gonna do this. He is the mighty hero. <laughs> uh, so yeah, like I said, uh, your HP actually counts as a stat point. Uh, so I'm able to just freely remove all of my HP and uh, excuse me, and put all of that into power. Uh, and 16 speed is just a good number that'll give us a chance of, uh, well, not a chance. It'll make sure that we hit the boss. So the boss coming up is... Uh, <laughs> she has a minor problem. Uh, <laughs> she can't switch rows, and she can only attack the row that she's in. So we get to set up a really early back attack, and then <laughs> her counterattack to that is to make clones, uh, which can also only attack that row. So then there's even less of a chance that she'll hit you because her clones are going to attack uh, where you're not. So we try to go up here. The doll stops us. Uh, this is why we have to rescue Mint, because... That means that the mice are on our side. No one's a match for me. What? A mouse? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. So Mighty Mouse saves the day. Just launches them. <laughs> yeah. And now we can, uh, now we can proceed. <laughs> this mouse is strongest mouse. <laughs> Russian mouse. <laughs> we really should have taken the mouse with us, because now we have to fight her. But... Yep. Just throw the mouse at her. Yeah. <laughs> Found it. This is it. Oh. I'm I'm just having fun imagining that those tiles are all hammers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, they might be. <laughs> they might be. Someone tried to do combination and miss and made a floor. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So what I'm gonna do here? I'm just gonna stay up here. She's gonna inch forward and just use lightning or pollen or something. And uh, I'm gonna waste one more turn. Wait for her to move a little bit more to the right, or extremely to the right. <laughs> I'm gonna waste another turn. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, moth. Stay. All right. Hello? <laughs> oh, and the crit oh, to start. A back attack crit. Well, so that's. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I see. <laughs> Make a clone directly on top of me. So for those of you that have never seen PJ run anything before, that's kind of what we see a lot. Actually, this is volcano base. I should, I should do it? 40 power. And the rest in speed. Speed, remember, is related to your... Accuracy as well as your evasion, mm -hmm. and the evasion is the important. Well, I guess accuracy is pretty good too. Accuracy is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> um, but either way, you want a lot of speed when you're coming up on some of these next enemies, especially mm -hmm. when you're going glass cannon. Yeah, uh, because absolutely. any point in defense is not going to matter when you have one HP. Yeah, yeah, you have to invest a lot into survivability because you have to build HP with defense at mm -hmm. the same time. Um, so there's only going to be one boss from now until the end of the game where I actually care about surviving attacks and that's because he has a 50% critical hit chance. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> critical hits are completely unblockable, completely indefensible. Um, if the game decides they're going to crit, it's going to hit and kill you. So, yeah, yeah he's... Crits <laughs> crits uh, take place before any other calculations come through, so it doesn't matter how much speed you have. If the game decides that the enemy crits, it will hit you regardless of whatever speed you have. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the end. But uh, it also does a lot of other useful things, like uh, completely ignoring their defense. And, and resistance. And resistance, and just going to town. So uh, we'll make use of that later on. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Critical hits are extremely important. So we saved everybody. Mint told us something. I don't, I don't know if I've actually, actually read her dialogue. <laughs> um, and then Cranky's like, oh, thank you. You avenged Rask. Now I can sleep at peace. And then Flavin's like, hey, anyways, remember how I didn't tell you what happened with me and your father and why I'm down here? I guess I'll do that now. So what happened? They were on this trip, right, and they encountered one hacker. And our dad, uh, despite 
teaching us how to build robots doesn't actually have any robots. Uh, so he does something, and then they're both gone. <laughs> so... Surprise horn uh, was definitely a surprise. Yeah, he upgraded it. He yeah. combined it with hammer. <laughs> hey, guys. Yeah. LLK did a thing. Uh-oh. <laughs> no. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. You're not allowed to look, Meta. <laughs> you stay right here. <laughs> Please let me go. No. <laughs> you, you stay and you like it. Yep. I'm not liking it, but I'll have to enjoy it anyways. Okay, so um, we have two of the Tetron. Flavin's like, I don't know where the third one is, but I definitely saw it when I was in the South Isle, so it's absolutely there. <laughs> um, and we just got an invitation there, too, so we should probably go. First, I'm going to read some book. I want to learn how to make punch fists. Well, this one's for you, Mata. Oh gosh, I'm so I'm so honored. I'm gonna save again. I shouldn't have to save from now until the rest of the game because I have the backup robot. Um, but there, I, I'll save before certain boss fights in case I get absolutely atrocious luck, <laughs> and I have to use all my items. <laughs> So, a little bit more on crit. It's related to the weapon that he's currently using at any given time. Um, he just has a flat chance to crit. And certain weapons, certain very specific weapons, will have a much higher chance to crit. Uh, and we'll see that later on. I believe most of the weapons, especially axes, only have a, a 1 in 16? 1 in 32? Yeah, 1 in 16. Yeah, uh, so crits are fairly rare, but very good if we can get them. Yeah. Uh, so long as he's using axe. Yeah. Yeah, I think every melee weapon has a 1 in 16, if it can crit, except punch 2 and punch 3. Uh, punch 1 and punch 2 have the same. Oh, they do? Yeah. Oh, good for them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, South Isle, we did it. Oh, Mint's here. Okay. Well, we gotta talk to her, of course. So, apparently, everybody that has come to this island has disappeared. Mint knew this before she came. <laughs> she <laughs> and still, still decided came, yeah. to come here. <laughs> Something bad will happen. So the story behind this village is that uh, there's this volcano deity that they all worship. And the deity demands sacrifices, and uh, the shaman is like the liaison for the deity. So if they don't provide sacrifices, then the shaman does things to people. So sleeping, apparently our guy, I don't know, every time he goes to bed, he has these weird flashback things. He must live a very confusing life. Um, <laughs> something huge has come. Terrible. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you, seriously, with the way the volcanoes, like, you hear the ground keep shaking, you'd figure that you'd wake up from one of those, like, stuff would just break. Nah. Yeah, maybe. My bed's next to the invention machine. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. He needs the sound of clanging to get yeah. sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so, despite now knowing that everybody that ever came here has disappeared, we agreed to go on a tour of the volcano. Um, our guy's also not very smart. Maybe he'll be the lucky one. Sounds like it. Yep. Sounds like we're going to be the lucky one. The perpetually flowing lava coming from not the top of a volcano. The volcano is fun. You'll have to go alone. All right, peace. <laughs> you're a liar, but the deity wants to sacrifice. I don't even know. I don't know what the you're a liar thing even means. I'm not really sure where they pulled that from. But All right, so we are going to gain one level in this entire next story arc. Um, and we have to gain it. Not at a specific point, but after a very specific event. Um, but we should be like 15 experience away from one. Well, we were, and then we killed those three. So we've still got a ways to go. 15 meg? 15 meg, that's right. Okay. My bad. Oh, you're a new sacrifice guy? <laughs> <laughs> You'll be thrown into the volcano if you don't work, just so you know. So uh, this whole volcano deity thing is... Uh, just more slave labor. So, we've been captured, and uh, our first order of business is going to be to go to the bathroom. 
the bathroom, like, this entire story arc revolves around the bathroom. Uh, you have to go to the bathroom between, like, every single other step. But, yeah, so there's there's their punishments, right? If you if you disobey the, uh, the deity, you get sentenced to toilet cleaning. <laughs> and if you really disobey, you get turned into a mouse. So, that guy was just at the urinal, gave us... Gave us a stamp on our hands. Didn't There's no wash. sinks in there. Didn't even so wash his hands. I don't know what the stamp is. <laughs> They're it's... bad guys. They don't care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this guy is not the best guard. <laughs> not the best. Not their finest recruitment, but... So the stamp lets us get in the room that's uh, right up here. Where are you going? Oh, a stamp. Well, you don't look like a hacker, but I guess you're fine. All right. So at the beginning, like, I didn't even know that Smokes did this. Um, when I was running this game, I had no idea that Smokes actually had an effect outside of battle. And when I wa first watched the Japanese run, I was like, what did he just use? That's ridiculous. <laughs> because, like, you can't use cleans, you can't use repairs or cures or any of that stuff. Um, so, yeah. yeah, I just didn't even bother testing. Smoke uh, <laughs> smoke is really helpful, just a full screen freeze. You can yeah. still get into encounters, I believe. Yeah, you can. Um, but so long as you choose your timing right, you should be able to make sure you can get by. A hundred years of toilet cleaning wow. for you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Bad news. Yeah. Yeah, sucks to be that guy. Um, so, yeah, th there are only a few places where I actually plan Is that to Dr. Use... Einst's head? Yes. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? <Whoa. laughs> <laughs> hey, you can't be here. <laughs> All right, so, of course, he was sentenced to toilet cleaning, so we're going to go talk to him and see what he heard. I can't go past this guy now. So yeah, when I first watched the, uh, the the early iterations of the Japanese route, they would buy like 40 smokes at the beginning of the game and just like freeze everybody in place and run by them. Um, I like to get 10. I plan to use like four of them, but it's really nice for when you get in an unintentional battle because escaping is not guaranteed. Uh, in fact, escaping is a pretty low success rate. And with my lead robot the way that he is, uh, if enemies get a turn, he's pretty much dead. So... It's good to have a lot of spares in case that happens. So, the uh, the guy that got sentenced to 100 years of toilet cleaning is our friend Kotetsu. Um, he was eavesdropping and trying to find stuff out. Oh, boss, boss toad. toad. This is like five and a half experience. That's a great encounter. Four and a half, yeah. Boss Toad's nice. Boss Toad with, like, random parasol. <laughs> <laughs> Don't question Boss Toad. Excuse me, Boss Toad. He knows what he does. Excuse me, Boss Toad. <laughs> <laughs> Considering his options. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna do this. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to fight too many of these guys. Boss Toads give a lot of experience, um, and I definitely do not want to level up before I have to. Um, but we should still be like six or seven mags away, which is fine. Two hundred gold. I'll take that. Uh, these spiders also have run resistance. Please? Yeah, that wasn't too bad for me. Bouncing gator heads. The enemies in this game are kind of ridiculous. Yeah, at the beginning of the opening cutscene, they talk about I'm they're dead. actually androids. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what? Yeah, so they have, uh, <laughs> they have the uh, advantage right now. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's what happens. You fell for a trap. Yeah, I tried to run away, and he hit me from the side. And uh, if you're not touching each other head-on, and you're not the one that initiated battle, the game definitely does not let you go first. So I have to revive him. But that's okay. I got some pretty good repair drops, and uh, I've had pretty decent luck so far, so that's not a big deal. Yeah. However, these rooms are going to use some more of them. Wow. Yep. So there are two invisible enemies in each of uh, the next two rooms. Hopefully yes. I went first. Pogo sick guy, he attacks with a water balloon. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, so they can they can wander pretty far. Okay, we're good. <laughs> they are the masters of pain in this yeah. area. Yeah, the, the <laughs> other guys are just a cannon with a helmet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're, they're really good experience, and they give you really good drops, but you just can't kill them at this point. They just laugh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would do one damage with the teleport slash, and I would do, with this equipment, probably four with a normal slash. Yeah. <laughs> so... The sacrifice returns. You're a messenger for sure. Anyways, so this time we're going to put you in a box and make sure you're actually sacrificed. <laughs> a pretty girl is to be sacrificed, yeah. but there are none here. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mick. <Yeah. laughs> for some reason, I have to go with her. I don't understand. <laughs> I'm like, no, you got her. You're good. Take her. That's fine with me. And those guys just dancing the whole time. I Dude, like the mohawk. I know. It's... Yeah. Island fashion is quite up there. You don't like the guy with the moss growing out no, of his head? No, he's he's just waiting until he can get a mohawk. <laughs> Wait Matt. here. Well, we're in a box, so... <laughs> yeah. Can I cut in with a quick donation? Sure. This one is from our friends over on the German, re the German restream. Oh, boy. Uh, from uh, Sekurion donating $100 saying uh -oh. greetings from the german restream staff thanks to all the staff and the runners on site great marathon great cause and then he puts it in german which i'm not even going to try and pronounce um so thank you very much for that hundred dollar donation yeah thank you and uh one little one from viridius thirty dollars saying just wanted to wish you good luck pj and hopefully nothing breaks today you might be a little bit late on that one yes yeah. uh just just saying but thank you for your donation. <laughs> so, uh, surprise, Dr. Einst is the deity. Uh, Wait, really? Probably couldn't guess. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, stop camping the door. <laughs> oh. <laughs> D-pad wanted me to go up, so. Probably. That's well, right, you... they won't be able to reach me. He's going to swing in okay. place and then turn around. Oh. Uh, oh. Well, he had a chance. <laughs> okay. He could have been the hero. Not should, today. I'm going to double check my experience. I should still be like four away. 4.8. We're still all right. I got a 20 from Trojan Dude that says, Hey, PJ, Trojan Dude here. Thanks for always having fuss with us train wreck plebs. It's been an awesome ride the last few months since I joined your channel. Praise be to board. And always remember his wise words. You never <laughs> no. fail until you own oh, no own oh, goal. <laughs> Good luck with your run, buddy! <laughs> Thanks, Trojan Dude. <laughs> so, uh, you probably know where we have to go by now. We did one plot trigger, so it's time to use the bathroom. Mint is, I don't know. In. Yeah. So, the, apparently, the, the back is the men's room, or she just wandered halfway into the men's room and then stopped. <laughs> um, but this is the executive toilet. This is the super good <laughs> one. The elevator toilet. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> we're, we're up here now. Two, three, four, five. So, um, the gimmick of this base is that we can't see certain things, like the door that's up there, or the laser beams that uh, that trip if you walk through them. So, there are kind of buffer strats to avoid some of the lasers. Um, some of the other ones you really can't, because enemies are just going to block you anyway, so you can't, you can't bank on them being in a not bad place, because they're going to be in a bad place. Um, but yeah, now that we're, we know something suspicious is happening, we have to go figure out why. Okay, so, uh, uh, so you remember how I said LLK did a thing? Oh, God. You gentlemen may want to uh, direct your attention to the TV. <laughs> <laughs> work, work. Can we get a round of applause for LLK? <laughs> Quack. <laughs> Quack. Quack. Uh, thanks, Lindsay. Oh, <laughs> thanks, in inverted commas. So, we, uh, Kotetsu is undercover again. Um, he told us that there are chameleon glasses, and he has some, but he's not going to give them to us because he's a jerk. So, instead, we're going to go. Some friend he is. Yeah, we're going to go <laughs> tell uh, Chef Hacker that we are with catering, and we're going to go deliver stuff to the R&D room. So, that's the plan right now. So These this, guys are really excited to meet you. Yeah. They just want hugs. 
Ah, it actually worked. Okay. That one normally doesn't work. Uh, Bio Lion is the danger. <laughs> the little bug wings. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that thing is, but <laughs> he is not a friend. We also didn't trip that alarm. That's that's rare. I don't have a setup for that one. Yeah, the alarms are off right now. Okay, okay. So I have to do a minor detour here. Um, there are a number of rare drops that I could have gotten along the way that would have skipped this, but we need this other scrap for. And we're going to do a bit more... Uh, a bit more crafting, and we're gonna make the Almighty powerful. Oh boy. Um, and this is just some spare money. But, I mentioned before that all of the scraps have a certain weapon affinity. Scrap 4's affinity is punch. Um, scrap 1's affinity is blade weapon, so it upgraded axe, it upgrades uh, uh, sword. Scrap 2 is just garbage. Um, I think it can be used in like two combinations, and they're both pretty useless. Um, but yeah, so we're going to upgrade our uh, our punch to better punch. You can tell that they're smart because they've got the hats. They've got the hats, <laughs> yeah. And there's papers all over the floor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so first things first, make the plot item because <laughs> when I play this game, I tend to just make the weapon first and then I leave. <laughs> and then like five minutes later, I'm like, I don't have the thing that I need. <laughs> okay, so scrap one. X2 possible. So this is where bad things happen. Um, X3 is the most powerful weapon in the game. And uh, they give you two scrap one. Where's the other one? This one. They give you two scrap ones really, really early in the game. So as long as you don't waste them and like spend them on swords, upgrading those, uh, then you're, you're in for a good time. All right, so we're also gonna make punch, seven swords, and a hammer. So. The punch I'm going to use, I'm going to combine that with scrap fours to get uh, punch three. Um, the swords and the hammer I'm going to combine again to get uh, another X1 level eight. And then I'm going to combine both of those with the X3 and get X3 level nine. So when you combine in the same tier, the levels are additive. Uh, but when you combine a lower tiered weapon with a higher tiered weapon, it only takes half of the level from the lower tier. So an X3 level one with an X1 level eight will only contribute four levels instead of eight. Um, so I have to build two of those for this to work. So we've got, I don't know, another minute or so of crafting if you right. wanna. Well, I'm just gonna clear something up quick. I've had a couple of whispers from the guys in the chat wondering who LLK is. Mm. Uh, LLK is, in the chat is Jazaboo. Um, she's a long time contributor to like GDQ marathons and uh, here for RPG Limit Break, She's one of the designers of like our promo banners and our channel emotes. And you can like check out more of her work at jazzaboo.com. That's J-A-Z-A-A-B-O-O.com. So you can check out a bit more of her work there. Let's see if we've got a couple of donations. Okay, EPM finally gets back to me with his Earthbound donation, saying those were two separate ideas. Just for that, what do you call a countrywide group of oral surgeons? The National Alliance of Dental Filness. That one's for you, Presentia. And uh, Mikalia gives, uh, gives us a donation saying, Hello everyone, Mikalia again. My husband just saw Juno's awesome Gundam models and insisted that I donate for a chance to win them. So of course I have to. Please put this towards naming Realm Alina. Also, Meta, where's Luna? Mm. With my notes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, just uh, to talk about prizes for a moment, the prize that's available during this game is a Robotrek SNES cart oh. that was... Uh, Hopefully it's not mine. No. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Sorry, DJ. I think that one's courtesy it, of the, the Sid. Yeah. yeah. One, of uh, our, one of our awesome tech uh, volunteers, uh, the Sid, donated that. Awesome. So that's going to be the prize that you guys can be entered in for. And let me check one second what the minimum donation on that is. It's only a $10 donation, so anyone who don donates $10 or above, you are entered for the Robotrex SNES cartridge. Nice. And if you have a cumulative $30 or more across the entire marathon, you are also entered for the grand prize, which was donated by Brocentia, which is the PlayStation 4. So awesome. get your do if you're interested in uh, maybe picking up this game, 
I'm not sure why you would after this. Oh, but... this game is awesome. This is honestly <laughs> one of the more fun casual mm -hmm. RPGs. Oh, yeah. Because there's so many weapons that you'll never see in a speedrun that are really, really neat and fun to play with. Yep. So you wouldn't just build the strongest weapon an hour into the run and then just take that all the way to the bank. You'd be fooling around and using all these other wacky weapons. Yeah, and I mean, without a guide or the the initial box and things, you're kind of going through this blind too. Yeah. So it's kind of, I'm going to pick my scrap four and combine it with, I don't know, a smoke and we'll see what pops out. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bad thing. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Metal shrapnels me. <laughs> and uh, one last thing while well, PJ's working, just to remind you why we are here. Uh, we are here uh, during Mental Health Month, which is May, working with NAMI, the National Alliance of Mental Illness. Um, they, we support them because they advocate, they educate, they lead, and uh, most importantly, they listen. <laughs> Cutting a little close. The juice, though. <laughs> the juice. Well, I thought he had you twice. He thought he did. Oof. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure what that sound was for a second. Uh, <laughs> this guy's got a really good path. I'm going to not fight him. But yeah, if, if th they, they listen. Um, and if you need to reach out, if you're, if you're suffering, head over to NAMI.org or get on Twitter and use either the hashtag act for mental health, that's the number four, or the hashtag stigma free, or tweet directly to NAMI uh, at NAMI communicate. Um, just, they will do whatever they can to, to, to aid you, so. Back to the fun couch. <laughs> Alright, so, um, these are the glasses that we made. Uh, I call these the headache goggles, because it's, it's actually not as bad. Is this us video? Yes. Okay, it's not nearly as bad as the component red. That is, like, actually <laughs> headache inducing. <laughs> It's in red, hard to read. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this game's the best. So the, the headache goggles let you see the invisible doors and whatnot. Um, if you use them in battle, like the dude just walks out, Big Kazam walks out and he puts the glasses on, and the, the capsules that won't blow up and kill you say okay next to him. Um, so they're pretty neat. Uh, anyways, we intruded and we got the guy's diary, now we're a mouse. So everything goes red. Is he putting on a virtual boy? Yes. Okay. Yep. With duct tape around his head because yes, you know. <laughs> well, they have a SNES controller. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so mouse is a really, really cool addition to this game. I I love the mouse. Um, in addition to being adorable, he can use the little mouse holes, and you can uh, you can go places that you can't go when you're not a mouse. Um, including this room. This is the uh, the self destruct machine. <laughs> a great machine. <laughs> A volcano base I'm, to have. I'm so glad we built the self-destruct machine. Yeah. So this is another place where a lot of people get lost. You're a mouse, you talk to Mint, and she gets scared, and she gives you the same response four times in a row. Um, so if you talk to her, like, twice, and you get the same response, like this as well, <laughs> then you just leave, and you can't do anything. So you have to make sure you actually sufficiently scare Mint away. And uh, Kotetsu knows that we're an actual person, not a mouse. So he wants to bargain with us. He'll turn us back into a not mouse in exchange for the secret treasure of the volcano base. Um, and only mice can get that. So back down we go. <laughs> the mouse operating the yeah, elevator that... <laughs> toilet. <laughs> so the, the cool thing is that almost every NPC in the game has unique text if you talk to him as a mouse. And if you try and use the invention machine, it's like, you're a mouse. It's too short. Or you're too short. <laughs> you can't reach the controls. Hello? Okay. All right. So in order to get there, no, no, no. I like these guys are still aggro, too. They're like, get them out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to shoot him with my gun. <laughs> Uh, so to get the secret treasure, we have to use this one, but these mice are like, whatever, I don't care. A thousand times no. So mouse cleaning is underway. It's uh, unfortunate, a bad base that they have like scheduled mouse cleaning time <laughs> in the cafeteria. Um, but mice cleaning is underway, so we're going to go kill the guy that's cleaning the mice up. With and robots. Then, uh, yeah, with robots. <laughs> 
Yeah, this guy, this guy's great. Where do you keep the robot? In Pokeball. As a mouse? Yeah. Okay. What? This mouse isn't afraid of humans. I'll get you. <laughs> you sure will, pal. You sure will. So yeah, we took care of him. Everything's fine. Um, this is pretty much the only sequence break in the entire game. Uh, this game pretty rigidly demands that you stick to plot elements. Um, but you find out later, excuse me, I accidentally pushed the self-destruct button. Right three times, left twice. I don't know how you accidentally <laughs> uh, input a, a five-button combination, but he did. <laughs> and despite accidentally doing it, it didn't self-destruct, so <laughs> I don't know. But you find out later from Kotetsu that uh, all of the chief engineers and whatnot were turned into mice. Uh, and that's your cue to go back down in the lunchroom and talk to them and get the scoop. But um, they give you what you need to know straight away, which helps. So this is another interesting thing that made uh, the routing very difficult. The treasure of the volcano base is actually just 5,000 gold. And the game, they try and prevent you from using it, but they also know that it's possible. So if you try and use the R&D machine or the, the invention machine, you get the whole, I'm a mouse, I can't do that. Um, but if you level up, then you can use the invention machine. And you can spend all of Kotetsu's money. <laughs> and then you go and talk to him, and he's like, uh, hmm. <laughs> is, is that really all that was there? Yep. All right, anyways, come with me. I'll fix you up. So Good guy, Kotetsu. Yeah. Yeah, so 5,000 gold is a ton of money, and you can do some really good things with it. But uh, unfortunately, I don't have any of the inventor's friends that would actually enable me to build something cool. So the money's just kind of wasted, and I just give it right back to him. Oh. Yeah. Good guy, Mouse. Well, I did steal all the other stuff in there, so <laughs> kind of good guy. Uh, so that room, in addition to the 5,000 gold, it had two really, really important items. Uh, <coughs> scrap 9, which is uh, a really high-level scrap. Scrap 9 and 10 don't have like a, a certain weapon class affinity. They're just really good. They combine with like everything and make it much better. Um, so Scrap 9 is amazing, and uh, I'm going to be using that to make one of the least balanced pieces of equipment <laughs> in the entire game. <laughs> one of the other least, least balanced pieces of equipment in the game is in uh, the other capsule there, the Sword 4. Um, Sword 4 is not a melee weapon. I guess I'll just, what? I'll just let you guys find out. Nope. <laughs> I'll just let you guys find out <laughs> later. Yeah. Poof. The Surprise! Hmm. Are you Big Kazam? <laughs> <laughs> the earthquake machine can't be stopped. Yep. Well, don't make a mess of it. <laughs> so, naturally, the first thing I'm going to go do is blow up the whole base. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kotetsu. You made a bad choice turning me back into a human. Now I can push the button. <laughs> Come here, self-destruct machine. <laughs> so ordinarily, I'd keep these goggles on, but for the viewing experience, I'm going to remove them when I no longer need them, because... Yeah. Oh! Okay, we did it. We broke the volcano. Now what? <laughs> run? <laughs> Probably oh, <okay>. run. <laughs> that's, that's fair. Escape. Are these so? Are these dinosaur bones that are just in the? I don't even. Sure. Right, I'll put these guys. Power mole. Power mole. <laughs> they just have glasses and everything. They're they're so happy, man. <laughs> so many of the enemies. I feel bad killing them because they're just so cute and hanging out and having a good time. Except that guy. Yeah, he'll he'll be bad news. So it's time for us to escape. Um, I am now free to level up. I wanted to wait on my level until I got the scrap nine. Um, you'll see why. Like, it's it's going to be pretty obvious in a bit. <laughs> okay. This guy should give me a level. I should be like 2.3 away. This is probably going to give me exactly enough. Oof. I wonder if my estimate was even close. Let's see. No, I wouldn't. All right. I'll have to kill the other mole then. Can I squeeze in a quick donation? 
Uh, sure. Sure. I have a $10 from he? Odin Smash who says, first donation of the marathon. Would love to get my hands on that Robotrek card. Good luck on the rest of the run and all of the runs to come. Put this towards re reviving our Lord and Master, the Demon Chocobo. <laughs> Sorry, Puexel, but I had to. More donations to come throughout the marathon and keep up the great work. Thank you, Odin Smash. Boots 5. Boots 5. Right. Wow. So, so <laughs> yeah. there are six tiers to boots. Um, defensive equipment doesn't have levels, it just has tiers. Um, yeah, boots 5. Um, <laughs> I don't even know where to begin with this one. So, the boots in this game uh, increase how far you can actually move in battle. And uh, some of them increase, or they, they modify how fast you can run. Boots 4 is uh, roller blades, and Boots 6 is a hover pad. And you can just, like, book it all around yeah. the map. It's, it, they're really cool. Um, you're not going to see them here, unfortunately. And Boots 2 and 3, like, increase your movement by, like, one tile, and it's kind of all right. Boots 5, though, I don't know what, what they were thinking. Boots 5 is tank treads. <laughs> and it gives you an enormous evasion boost. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> poof. Uh, I don't really understand why that happens to this guy. Side note. We blew up the volcano base, so the shaman's like, dude, you screwed up. <laughs> you really screwed up. Oh, come on. Uh, so he tried turning them into uh, to mice as punishment, and it backfired for some reason, and he's a mouse now. You held up a mirror. Uh, <laughs> 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 um... Yeah, so Boots 5, the evasion boost is really important because Boots normally don't add guard or evasion, so it's just like a free slot that you're not using. Like, you can boost your evasion with the backpack or with your shield or whatnot, but uh, not normally with Boots. And uh, it's like, it's an evasion boost that's equivalent to the second best shield in the game. Um, and again, they don't expect you to... Uh, <laughs> yeah, that just kicks you. <laughs> Well, yeah. So they don't expect you to hang on to Scrap 9 or Scrap 3, because there are much more attractive options uh, much earlier. But if you do, then you get this. And it's the only way that you can actually get this item. No enemies drop it. You can't get it from an inventor's friend. And, uh, yeah, that's the only combination. So there's some stuff that's hitting, <laughs> hiding Hammer on the floor. There. <laughs> Hammer 2. See, the floor was hammers. You're right. <laughs> Is Hammer 2 uh, the healing hammer? It sure is. All right. Hammer 2 is a weird item. Um, you actually can't craft it in the invention machine. And it's a rare drop from uh, the Frankens and the Clock Tower. And it's on the floor there. Those are the only ways you can get it. And it's worth 3,000 gold if you recycle it. Um, and it's, it's weird. It's the weakest melee weapon in the game, but you leech health from enemies when you use it. All right, we good. We have the right stuff equipped. Time for fun. Time for you to see why these boots are not okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I have 99 speed, I have a shield equipped, and I have boots 5. Big guy. Uh, the whole plan here is to just not get hit. So, I'm going to go to this row. After three attacks, he's going to fly across, and I'll be able to get a back attack. Now, this is the first boss. <laughs> so, that's the second time he's ever hit me. <laughs> you come back here. You come back here, mister. So, this is the first boss that um, actually is able to block you. Um, so, shields, shields and armor have kind of a... A hidden property. That's no, not really hidden, but um, in addition to the evasion boost, which gives you the miss thing here, uh, there's a chance that they'll just outright block the attack, and that actually supersedes crits. So it does the block check, and then the crit check, and then ever after that, it's yeah, whatever. Um, so there's a chance that when I try and hit him, it'll just go ting, and nothing happens. And likewise for him hitting me. Um, he has 600 health, so it takes five hits. We have to wait for him to cross over a few more times. This is an instance where I think two crits would kill him? Probably, like yeah. That. Mm -hmm. Probably. Yeah, all the bosses, if you just go for broke and use like a triple melee attack combination, if you crit, you just win. For like the first seven bosses. <laughs> <laughs> but if you don't crit, then you lose a whole bunch of time and it does like six damage then. Alright, farewell. 
Unless he blocks. Okay. Alright. So, I'll take it. Only one death. It should, it should have been zero, realistically, but... 70 mags. Alright, so we're level 13. Uh, we should be, like, level 16 or above here. Um, we're gonna do a bit of a switch here. Yes. And yes. Okay, so... Coming up very, very soon is our long metal slime grind. <laughs> um, not quite yet, but it, it's coming. So if you're like, if you got to use the bathroom or you want to like order a pizza or something, just wait like a, a little bit longer and then you're free to do that. Yeah, the, the estimate here is four hours probably for this very instance. Yeah, this and the final boss for sure. So we beat Dr. Einstein and just let him go again. And uh, we saved the robot from our dreams. Um, it turns out that this robot was created by Rask, our ancestor, and he had Stone 3 inside of him. So we took it. No way! It's gonna collapse! So we, we just completely ruined this island, honestly. Like, we blew up the <laughs> volcano and the shrine. <laughs> And then if you go back to the town, like, the village is fine now, but if you go back to it later, they're in the middle of this enormous heat wave that's just, like, <laughs> destroying them. <laughs> oh my God. It's so, it's so bad. So the cool thing about this game is that, like, the... It's actually relatively short with uh, the plot elements, but there are loads of cool side quests and Easter eggs and whatnot. And uh, you can make an item called Weather that, like, just causes it to rain. That's all it does. You use it, and it rains in the town. And if you use it there, then they're happy and... I don't even know if you get a reward. They're just like, sweet, we're not going to die. <laughs> so he just smashes himself to pieces to get us out of here. I have a drill. I probably should have told him that. Yeah. But, oh well. He was gangbusters. Yeah. So, just, you know. <laughs> so we get scrap A, and if you're like me, you're playing this game for the first time, you're like, Dude, if Scrap 9 was that good, Scrap A has got to be the best thing ever. <laughs> and you just, you literally go through your inventory one item at a time, trying to combine it with Scrap A, and the game's just like, nope, 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 no combination here. And then you're like, shoot, all right, well, it's got to be something else. And you just start hoarding every item from then on to see what you can combine. Uh, and then you're really disappointed when you find out it's a plot element. <laughs> but it looks, it looks identical to all the other Scraps. These are the guys we couldn't see before. The cannon heads. Cannon heads, that's right. All right, let me put the goggles for you guys. So, once again, we have to go talk to the Elder. For some reason, he's still happy to see us. We've destroyed his entire economy. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys aren't dancing anymore. They know. They know serious, <laughs> serious business is about to go down. Uh, Mouse? Mouse, please. You can't save me. It's too late. <laughs> You've earned the greatest name in the village. The name is Bye Bye. Bye Bye. I said, please get out. <laughs> it's all thanks to you. Please leave. <laughs> Alright, dude. Show me where he went. Alright, so if you thought that mouse time was over, you are incorrect. Mouse time has just begun. Found some change. 37 cents. <laughs> so change lets us turn into a mouse at any point. How how loud is my phone that she can hear it from over there? <laughs> I smell a Nick Nikisa only speaks in shouting. <laughs> <laughs> she speaks my language. <laughs> Glad you said it. <laughs> some bad water too <laughs> <laughs> this this world is just not doing too yeah, well yeah that island has some, <laughs> some really big problems pollution is rampant the name of the it's world is quintenix is that yeah, right yep quintenix so yeah the developers of this game are quintet um if you've played any of the other quintet games the soul blazer trilogy act razor one and act razor two you probably already recognize the font it's oh. like a pretty characteristic font good old act razor 2 good old act razor 2 <laughs> act razor 2 and illusion of gaia are actually plugged in uh, one of the computers i think if you go to your dad's computer it's like oh. coming soon act razor 2 yeah. and illusion of gaia yeah. hot new releases from quintet <laughs> um 
So, yeah, we came back. The mayor set us up. He's gonna steal all our stuff. He said that the Tetron were really his, and I took them. Well, poop. Dang. Well, end. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing they don't know about our mouse machine. Yeah. Or the surprise bar. <laughs> <laughs> they hey. just leave, let you keep your robots. Hey. Too. <laughs> <laughs> No one's here. <laughs> Just a mouse. Not here. You don't know about my <laughs> Sneaky sneakies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, he knows. Okay. So. Hey, mouse, what a goofy face. <laughs> Are you Carl? I'm a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you came back. <laughs> What'd you say about my face? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he knows the secret uh, secret shortcut to get into the mayor's house. Uh, we're gonna equip Fist, and uh, I'm gonna save. I don't even know why. There's nothing that can kill me, but I something's probably gonna go down in here. Pain's going down. So, PJ is now has uh, is that punch three? Punch three. Yep. Punch three has the highest crit chance in the game. Um, if on average you should hit one in four uh, attacks will be a crit, mm -hmm. and they get all those fun properties that we talked about early, and uh, we absolutely need those properties. Yes, <laughs> yes we do. <laughs> these guys, these adorable crab house guys. I feel bad that I have to punch them to death, but I have to because they have lots of experience. Uh, so I think and very little money. And very, <laughs> very. <laughs> these enemies are. They just, paid off their mortgage already. <laughs> excuse me, Star me, Star you. Uh, Starman Senior? Uh, uh, <laughs> Starman Deluxe. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, so those guys, if you remember when I killed Big Eye, I think I got 50 mags of experience. 70. Oh, was it 70? It was 70. Oh, wow. Good for him. The next boss only gives 30, so <laughs> yeah, 70 is pretty great. Um, yeah, but the Crab Houses give 30. And uh, the next highest enemy... Oh boy. Ooh. Well done. He's owned me. He's owned me well. <laughs> he shouldn't be able to hit me, but he's going to get to go first. Or not. I'm a mouse, so I can't use smoke. Ah. The oh. capsules are too big for the mouse to throw out, apparently. But they can throw the <laughs> robot capsules. Well, yeah, <laughs> those are lighter. <laughs> those are Pokeballs, remember? <laughs> All right, here we go. So I guess we're going to we're going to count these. All right, Mr. Krabs. Oh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> one for one. <laughs> so well, my I stats don't matter because crits ignore everything. <laughs> so I'm just not going to take the levels. We have to kill five of these. On average, the split takes me 15 minutes. Can I read so. a couple of donations then? No. <laughs> yes, no. please. We have to sit in silence. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, no, please. Right. right away. So. Oh. Did that I just... Yeah, so real quick, Bob. <laughs> I mentioned that blocks supersede crit. So he actually got a crit, and he blocked the second half of my punch. <laughs> so he got punched by the first half and blocked the second half, and you need both to connect. Like, I did 255 at the first set, 46 with that one. <laughs> so we're still two for two on crits, which is ridiculous. Uh, okay, two for three. You're, you're free to go now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, I might just leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I have $10 from Wyatt G, who says, I just want to donate while my favorite streamer was playing. Tell him to try not to bagu bagu, bagu bagu up the game, and good luck. Um, Lord Hayati is back. Three for four. <laughs> what? <laughs> Stop staring, you might make it angry. I'm sorry, everybody else who's after this. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Hayati is back with $5 saying, Joke incoming. Two hats are on a rack. One says to the other, You stay here, I'll go on ahead. Uh, PJ, you're about as useful as a one legged man who must construct <laughs> additional pylons. That bot, I'm gonna have to shut that bot down. <laughs> <laughs> we had $20 from. Ronanade, who says, good luck, PJ. Your father and I like you a lot. I'm sure you're important to your friends, so be careful and go for broke. <laughs> Thank you. And then we have $50 from Miss Dragon, who says, hi, Bob. Hi, Mist. I wish I was there hanging out with you guys. 
50 more bucks for good taste. Come on, people. All right, we're, we're evening out a little better. Yeah. <laughs> what are we at, like? I thought that six, was... six attempts and three crits. So there has been a discussion going on in, in the chat, PJ. Would you prefer a group of boards to be... No what? <laughs> Four for seven? That's... <laughs> So about that run you did before yeah. while you were practicing. <laughs> right, so the, <laughs> the last I did two <laughs> the last two runs, we'll say this. The last run I did in the US version before I came here, I gold splitted every single split up to this, which means it's the best the best I've ever completed that that particular segment. And I got to this one and I lost four and a half minutes. And my PB was already really bad here. So I lost four and a half minutes over an already bad split. The run after that that I did was seven minutes faster on the grind. <laughs> so this uh, this is something. We're at four for eight right now. Five. Four, <laughs> We're beating fifty percent. Fifty-five percent. Card five is really putting in some work. One more crit and the grind is done. <laughs> it's, it's a gold split by like eight minutes. So, so much for that pizza. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, <laughs> sorry, pizza delivery guy. <laughs> All right, Bob. You said Chad had something. The chat has two two things. So first, they're in the opinion that Cart Five is incredibly angry right now. Um, and second, <laughs> would you prefer a group of boards to be known as a flork or a soft lock? A flork. A flork. <laughs> I think it's I think it's a mortar. A it's, mortar of boards. It's a mortar of boards. <laughs> a mortar of boards. Board mortar. <laughs> this is ten. Uh, uh you 10? just did oh, ten. Eleven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this would be eleven. Ting, ting. <laughs> There's no chance. Look at him. <laughs> Come get it. They were having none of that. <laughs> no, so we don't count that one because we didn't actually see if that was a crit. I like to count for crit percent chance. So that's still 10 hits that actually connected. Yeah. The double block, I don't I yeah. don't count. Punch three, one in four crit chance. Uh, punch one and two still have a better crit chance than most other weapons. You have a one in eight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, either, either way, those are good ones to go to. But yeah. Punch three, far and away, the best chance of getting through this with any reasonable amount of time. Yeah, absolutely. And the reason I'm grinding here, like, you're probably wondering, you're like, dude, I mean, you Oh, my gosh. Even, <laughs> you actually can't get in a battle there if you hold right, which is good. I say can't, but it'll probably happen. Yep. This is 12. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was the six, best crit. Six for 12. We're right. keeping up the 50 50. Wow. <laughs> My goodness. We have a $10 donation from Holsetti. She says, hey, PJ, good luck with negotiating. Here's to your impossible hits from bosses. Thanks. Yeah, no, negotiations are definitely going in our favor. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap! <laughs> Seven out of 13 were crits. Wow. Seven out of 13. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Just done. Just set the controller I'm down. Done. It's over. <laughs> I and think that it... was the run, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's hands down the best luck I've ever seen. <laughs> your, your prior best, I think, was 7 out of 16. Does that sound uh, right? Six out, of, 6 out of 17. Okay. <laughs> My best. Yeah, that that's not right. <laughs> um, no. And this has to be R. To echo that, we have the Portlandian saying, Great marathon. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Um, actually, he needs to be at 31. Meta, what do the notes say? This should work. He didn't write that far. No. Nope. <laughs> that, that that, no, I got to level 10 and just put question it just, marks. Yeah, he put question marks and then underneath it just says equip shield at level, or shield level 2. That's it. Mm -hmm. so, so, I'm blind. <laughs> Yeah, but in all, in all fairness, the history of PJ's notes, it would just be do the thing. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> <laughs> So this is sword four. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I want to remind you, sword four was in a room that you cannot skip. It was just a capsule on the floor in a room you were forced to go to. And... Um, that's the normal swing. That's not anything that I programmed in. Sword 4 is just mighty. Uh, so yeah, it strikes every single row once. And uh, yes, you can use the uh, the special programs with it. So every single row can be hit three times. I'm going to smoke these guys. Yeah, there's a bunch of weapon types that you probably won't get to see in the run. Mm -hmm. um, they all have various different properties and uses, but... Um, Blade and sword, I think, are the only ones that have a tier four. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And they're both special. Um, 
So you can see that this is this is the sword for doing its thing. This isn't even upgraded. This is no. still level one. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it gets stronger, like a lot stronger. It can get to the point where, um, hmm. I thought that there were two rows there for some reason. That's all right. He has no chance of hitting me, so it's. <laughs> he showed that cap yeah. below. <laughs> you see what happened to him? <laughs> now you get yours. <laughs> Yeah, you can upgrade Sword 4 for uh, really cheap, actually, because you just have to upgrade it with Sword 1s, which only costs 200 each. So yeah, you can get you can get a level 4 or a level 9 Sword 4 for an additional uh, 1,600 gold. And then you're shooting down what? Like, Still lightning, but it's just it's a just bigger like, yeah. a bigger crash when it hits the ground. <laughs> it's it's insane. You, really actually, you actually throw a thunderstorm, not just yeah. one lightning bolt. <laughs> yep. Someone wants to christen Sword 4 the Thawed Board Sword. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I will allow it. <laughs> so the reason that I did the grind... Oh, actually, here's another cute thing for perspective. When you try and fight those shell guys and they run away, you get the bonus experience anyways. Um, the timer at the, in the corner, you'll see it here, should be uh, 30 out. It's a really good encounter. Sorry, Octopus. <laughs> um, the timer, it gives you 10 seconds per enemy that's there. And if you finish the battle before the timer expires, you get bonus experience. Alright, 19 is where I want to be. We are sitting real pretty right now. Um, so, when the, the enemy runs away, when the shells run away, you still get the bonus experience because technically the battle's over. I have missed crits so many times in a row that I gained a level from bonus experience alone. <laughs> <laughs> point 0.1 and point 0.2 at a time. <laughs> So yeah, that's uh, man. <laughs> I don't even. I really don't even know what to say about that. That's the odds of that are so astronomically low. Only PJ. Combine that with the super rare sword one drop I got earlier. Something terrible is going to happen <laughs> later in this run. Please, Octopus. You've still got a lot of gato to go. Yeah. I do. I do. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> no choice. <laughs> In a two-tile corridor like that, it is completely impossible. Um, and that ties in pretty well with the reason I've been grinding. Um, you've seen the previous boss fights, and it's pretty much impossible for them to hit me. So the level, I'm never gonna, I don't even care what's in that. It's gonna be something that upsets me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what could it be, PJ? I don't even know. It's probably just another Boots 5. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Scrap nine. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. All right, well, he is, he is deep on the bridge. It's going to be faster for me to just tickle him and have him run away. Run. 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 So I have a dollar donation from Epic Kai 13 again. He says, How has PJ not soft locked the game but managed to restart my phone? <laughs> Damn it, PJ! <laughs> Hashtag no. stuff PJ breaks. <laughs> Demon Lord Choco Board is love. <laughs> Demon Lord Choco Board is life. Quack. Quack. <laughs> work, work. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, it's Quar. That's what it was. Knock, 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 knock. All right. <laughs> so this should be the last random encounter I fight for the rest of the game. You say that. <laughs> Should be. Should be. So again, I'll, I'll try and set this up again. Hopefully I won't be surprised by something the game does. The reason that I leveled up is because I want Inventor's Rent 20. It is... I, I know we've seen a lot of unbalanced things in this game. That is hands down the least balanced thing. Um, you get... Well, I'll just show you when I get to it. But yeah, there are a few more Inventor's Friends that I need to read. And uh, the sooner the better. So I want to read Inventor's Friend 15, 18, and 20. And uh, it just so happens that when I want to read those is where the highest experience enemy is. So it just kind of makes sense to do it that way. Hello. Oh, mice are cute. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> You're an awful kid! I will punish you! <laughs> Well, so much for yeah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> These are bad people. They kicked my sandcastle down. I'm getting. <laughs> what? <coughs> what? 
Was it that guard that had, um... Oh, man. You said that... I believe, if I remember this right, that guard has, like, a very low percent chance to drop anything. Oh. And he dropped, like... Yeah, so that guard... Um, I don't know if it's actually him or the... The other guards that guard the doors before Metacrab. Right. But they have a chance, like, they have an okay chance to drop an item. But the super guard drop is a thousand golds. And I remember getting that once in one of their runs. Yagamoth got it in the one time he played the game. <laughs> He's like, hey, a thousand golds, sweet. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> All right, so we found the fake mayor. He's behind that door, uh, that mouse sized hole in the, the key lock thing can't crawl through but so we have to go expose the fake mayor for did i say the fake mayor's in there he's not yeah the real mayor's in that there. would be the ultimate bait and switch <laughs> <laughs> lock yourself up <laughs> no one would ever suspect it <laughs> so yeah we have to go expose the fake mayor who's definitely not locked up so that the real mayor who is locked up can come back beat the other guard I can't that was that. the guy. Yeah. Upcoming guy. is a, oh, yeah. that was a very yeah. dangerous battle, too. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily for being able to finish the run, but just it might take a while depending on how unlucky PJ is. And I'm guessing it's going to be very unlucky uh, given prior things that have happened today. Fortunately, I have a plan. Giles is going to take care of him. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, thank God. <laughs> I was going to be legitimately upset if that was a thousand gold. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the reason we have to go through the sewers instead of this is because the secretary stops us. Even if you're a mouse, like, if you try and run through that door, the secretary's like, please, Big Kazam, don't go in there. You know, there, there, uh, there are ongoing investigations. And if you're a mouse, she's like, please, little mouse, it's not safe. <laughs> don't go in. <laughs> Alright, so this is Turbo the Dog, a quintet uh, staple. I want to play, Woof. Someone take me out. So I'm going to bring you to the mayor's office instead of playing. <laughs> Come here, don't run. <laughs> so, the thing here is that apparently the real mayor hates dogs. Uh, so we're gonna see if the fake mayor also hates dogs. Let me just double check, he's got the things that I need. PJ, okay. Yagamoth would like to correct you. <laughs> uh, he he's... would like to, but he's not gonna. <laughs> he, said, he said, I actually died on that attempt to the boss, so I had to redo it and didn't actually have that drop anymore. Good. Um, so I told a story earlier where the same exact thing happened to me. I got a thousand gold drop and Metacrab killed me. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, fine, fine. All right, so here's Papa Mecca. These are what tank treads do. Nice shot, dude. So that uh, that gun has about a 50% chance of critting. And crits, again, ignore all of your speed, all of your evasion, all that stuff. So the only reliable way to fight this boss is to actually put points into guard and HP. See, there's, oh. there's a back attack crit. So this robot is going to end up being a guard and HP robot anyways, so it, it's not really much of a detour for me to just put a few points in power and have him kill this guy. And hopefully this takes wow. us to 20. It, it should. Our, our experience count is pretty good right now. Nice. nice. All right, yeah, we are set. Qu quick donation? Uh... Wait. Yeah, we could do that. All we right. could do that. Uh, Foe Lotnix has donated $10 saying, In addition to my other nonsensical donations to this marathon, I like robots. So let's even up the Psych and Densetsu storylines for no apparent reason. So there you go. That's the last time Giles gets to hit stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, you can probably piece together what's going to happen for the rest. Please don't drop things. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything to say. <laughs> I want to point out that you can't manipulate it. I'm not just toying with you guys. You can't. Oh, I should probably go save the other mayor and just set it just taking the money and the dog and leaving. <laughs> Turbo, you're mine now. <laughs> I will buy you off your owner. <laughs> oh, he's gone. He left. He knew. He heard. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, the fake mayor, we actually just killed him. He poofed. He wasn't an android. He's actually dead. Um, so now we're going to free this guy. Stone. So, 
somehow, I'm not actually sure how this happened, right? Because the fake mayor is the one that stole the Tetron from me. You would think that before the fake mayor got into power, he would lock that guy up. Big Kazam got Stone L. They forgot his face. Stonal. Um, so yeah, you'd think that the real mayor would have been locked up already before he even got the Tetron. But somehow, he not only managed to steal one of them, but hit it. Uh, well, we lost it. You're not very good at hanging no, out. No, I'm things. terrible. <laughs> I am absolutely. I don't even care. I have so much money right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna go buy South Isle because the real estate prices there are tanked. <laughs> this game is just about market manipulation. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I have. I have succeeded in that. This is this predates Reseteer by a lot. So. <laughs> okay. So. Another uh, another common theme in this game is that the hacker's leader changes like every 10 minutes. It was Metacrab. He was the hacker's leader, and then we turned him into actual crab. And then he's like, sorry, it wasn't me. Here's a thousand golds. And then Fake Mary's like, ha, it was actually me. And nope, it's actually Rose, his other secretary. So, all right. We know that now, at least. So, it's time to do some reading. Um... Inventor's friend 18 and 20 and 15, then I'm going to craft some stuff. So, Couldn't you just pay somebody to read for you? I mean, I could. I'd have to find someone a higher level, though. <laughs> Why would he want to get rid of his money, though? I mean... <laughs> also true. <laughs> so there's another thing, another tiny side quest you can do. Uh, there's an old woman in this town who's bedridden. She's like, man, I would really love it if I could have some help around the house. And then you learn how to build Little Robot, which is this adorable guy that you can spend uh, 2,000 gold. I don't want to read this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you can spend 1,000 gold or 2,000 gold to build him, and he just follows you around. He doesn't, he doesn't do anything. He just <laughs> follows you around. You're supposed to give him to the old woman, but, I mean, you don't really have to. <laughs> so you can just pick him and have some guy <laughs> chase you. <laughs> just stand out front of her door, just way with a little robot. <laughs> yep. So we got Vanish. Vanish is the the item that we extremely want. Uh, we also got Turbo Pack there, uh, which has interesting properties, and we're going to get Shield Pack. So those go on your back instead of the bombs. Bombs are really not useful for attacking. They're only useful for, like, the combination things. Oh my god, this money. <laughs> <laughs> so now what? I don't even know. Like, at this point, it's so far into the route that I've already kind of managed my money, <laughs> and it doesn't really have an impact. Robot 3. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> what? We're not going to do it. We're not going to do it right now. Uh, <laughs> did, did we already close that out? Yep. We did? It is. It will be it, bored. It'll be bored. <laughs> and he will be lime green. <laughs> Yes, he will. Um, I built Turbo Pack here before, right? Yeah. Uh, speaking of stupid amounts of money, I just got a $100 donation wow. from Jin Menguin saying I had to donate some more after seeing that awesome crowd grind RNG. <laughs> <laughs> this goes to PJ's Choice, which is still the Saiken Densetsu. It is still the Dragon Emperor out. Yep. And All right, let's see here. I have a $5 donation from Crimson Helm saying, I don't like using synonyms, but if push comes to shove. I'm not sure what the rest of the message was, but... <laughs> I think this is a computer. <laughs> Connect! Act Razor 2, Illusion of Guy, Pop popular new releases. releases by them. By them. <laughs> Bye. No, <I'm> carry. <laughs> Alright, so... We're gonna have to say farewell to our good friends. The surprise horn. What? I know. We're gonna give it to these kids. That's the most responsible <laughs> thing to do. <laughs> so Medi Medigrab is back here. He got caught by some kids. I can't talk to you this way. <laughs> but it's what is fun. <laughs> All right. What's that? It makes a loud noise and scares people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, Rococo, but that's about to be a really terrible, <laughs> terrible town. That's the real thing. <laughs> so this guy. All right, you better go rescue him. Visit the house in the north. Fisherman can tell you. This is probably second favorite NPC in this game. This guy is a true hero. The talking crab told me about you. I don't give rides, but the crab asked me to. I made my living by crabbing. It wouldn't be fair to refuse a crab's request. <laughs> <laughs> He is a, 
a true man of honor. <laughs> <laughs> so I killed like millions of your people. Yeah, yeah. I'll give the guy a ride. Yep. <laughs> We're even, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we good. Mass, <laughs> mass genocide? No, we're good. No, now. we're good. <laughs> oh, yeah, so this this area has a lot of back and forth. It's my least favorite part of the game by a wide margin. Um, just because we have to watch this boat cutscene three times. And uh, I don't know. It's just a really annoying place. However, <laughs> it has the greatest NPC in the game. Number one. <laughs> Alright, so you're going to see the power of Vanish here in a bit. Oh, right now, apparently. So Vanish is technically a consumable item. Uh, but the game... So after you use it for a certain amount of time, it just wears off and you have to buy a new one. But the game doesn't actually track your... Uh, like, it doesn't tie the timer to the thing, to the actual item. So you can just unequip it and switch to something else. No, oh, not those, though. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then the timer's reset. So you can just keep entering your menu, unequipping it and re-equipping it, and the game's like, we good. Yeah, this is fine. All right, here he is. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, yes. This is a hacker airbase, but all the planes are gone, so everyone's got some free time. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Everybody needs a hobby. He's doing good work, at least. All right, buzz buzz. He's pretty persistent at it, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, he is... He is a master of his craft. Yeah. <laughs> so, even though I have Vanish and I can technically equip it to get around every single enemy, it is still faster to uh, dodge enemies. Unless there's, like, a number of rooms of them in a row, you still want to just avoid them. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Just throw a smoke bomb at Yeah. <laughs> this will work. Okay. Good find then. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? A shadow? Excuse me. Oops. So the other unfortunate thing with Vanish is that if you enter a cutscene and this counts, uh, it is immediately disintegrated. It's, like, completely consumed all at once. All right, you go first. You have the right stuff. We're good to go. Metacrab found himself caught again, and they were just going to put an end to this and eat him. Uh, so we have Poor to fight. Guy. Yeah, he's had a tough go. So we have to fight all eight of these guys. Just like a moth to the flame. And there's seven, seven guys there, at least. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> all seven of them. Well, there they go. Oof. And they're gone. I mean, this guy should have just given me the leader's badge straight away in the cave. But... That's hoping for too much. Mm -hmm. If he had, you wouldn't have had to give away your surprise horn either. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get it back. What? I'm getting it back. Oh, oh God. I'm getting it back. <laughs> <laughs> It's another, another side quest, because everybody's sad about losing Surprise Horn. It's an awesome item. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it, it adds like 10 seconds to the ground to go grab it. PJ, let me know when I've got a little bit of a block of time so I can update some people on some upcoming donation incentives. Oh, my God, these guys. So. All right, we'll have a bit of time in a second. All right, cool. Just let me know. So this is Carl's dad. Um, so he's like, oh, you know, Carl, he's a jerk, isn't he? Yeah. Anyways, here, give him this letter. <laughs> so he's going to go type up a letter, and we have to go bring it all the way back to Carl. I wonder where he gets it from. Come all the way back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that I disappeared. I was kidnapped by evil people and forced to work. <laughs> that seems like an appropriate letter to give <laughs> yourself. <laughs> You're the man of the house now. Good guy. So we got the letter. There is one more important thing to do here, and that's to see the best NPC again. And then uh, then we can do some reading. Unfortunately, there's no there's no shortcut here. You can't just, like, exit. You have to walk all the way back out. Um, there's no cutscene here this time, so I'm free to use Vanish through here. It won't just go away. Um, and another good perk is that if you run over slowing terrain with Vanish equipped, it doesn't actually slow you down anymore. 
So like narrow passageways and puddles, uh, mounds of snow, stuff like that won't slow you down. Staircases slow you down, but only a little bit as opposed to um, a lot. So, how long is the timer on Vanish? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know how long it feels. Hey, look at this guy. <laughs> I got lots of free time. So I need <laughs> Fighting the good fight. All right, so yeah, I'm just gonna do a bit of backtracking. You can uh, All right, cool. read some if you got some. Uh, what I wanted to do is just uh, fill people in on coming up after Robo Trek. We have a uh, Yokai Watch any percent. Um, wanted to f uh, fill everyone in on the status of the donation incentives for that. The glitched final boss showcase was met, so we will definitely be seeing that. Uh, there is also the ability to name the four characters right now. Venoct and uh, Wildcap don't have any names. You could snipe those quite easily. Komasan uh, has $50 towards being called Bumpkin. <laughs> and uh, Jibanyan has $50 towards being called Cat Boo and $100 <laughs> towards being called Magoo. Do you say Cat Boo? Cat Boo. Nice. That's quality. That's, that's a quality boo. <laughs> I, I thought I heard Cat Burr at first. I mean, it's Cat <laughs> Bored. All right, Carl. I'm here. Just slap with that the letter. That sounded much more menacing than it probably should have. <laughs> <laughs> Kidnapped or not, he just disappeared. All right, bye. <laughs> Wow, what an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks, nothing. <laughs> Just, like, oh, my dad's been kidnapped. Where'd he go? Oh, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have any paper, so I used this ancient blueprint. I hope that's all right. Probably should have given this to you, the inventor, instead of me, the jerk little kid who's probably going to get killed in the cave soon. <laughs> all right, you. You got something for me. Who, who is it? Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> Damn right, kid. <laughs> you give me back the heart. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, we did our business. <laughs> now we gotta take the folk back and talk to Guy. Surprise for an absolutely worth it. Yes. <laughs> um, Bob, we have. Uh... Another minute or so, if you want. Yeah, not a problem. What I'll actually do is I'm going to plug the Yeti again, because they're awesome. Yeah, you should do that. Yeah. Uh, we have once again partnered with the Yeti to uh, bring more awesome t-shirts over. You can just go over. You can see all the designs over at theyeti.com slash RPG Limit Break. That is, again, spelled out Y-E-T-E-E. -E -E. And for each shirt that is sold, the Yeti will be donating $3 to NAMI. Mm -hmm. So go over there, get yourself some cool t-shirts, and donate to the cause. <laughs> that guy is a master. Four, yeah, four snowmen. <laughs> He's got it down now. <laughs> oh, so, spoiler alert. When you come back out there, there's only one left. Like, there's a cutscene, only one snowman. And I was really, really hoping that there would just be, like, completely full of snow. <laughs> the snow's all gone. Yeah, there's just snow. <laughs> yeah, snow's all gone. There's just, like, a hundred snowmen hanging around. <laughs> yeah. It's too bad. He must have gone on lunch break or something. And then the one snowman fought the other three to death. <laughs> Battle royal. <Yeah. laughs> all right. Litho. What's up, dude? To me from Carl? Wait, this isn't even a letter, it's a blueprint. Huh? <laughs> What's my kid been doing? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now we get the blimp. Oh, I love blimp. Blimp? Blimp is my favorite. There's only one snowman. Yeah. So sad. I think, that, uh, I'd say the hackers kicked them all down, but he's the one that made it. I'm going to blame Carl's father. Yeah, yeah. yeah the big space for the blimp. He's like, get this snowman out of the way. We need a runway. <laughs> all right, so the best thing about the blimp is that it's not actually called the blimp sometimes. Blimp can't blimp? be used here. Blimp can't be used. <laughs> What? Blim. Uh, blim. <laughs> it's. Yep. I just learned about this, man. You can't expect me to remember the name. 
I don't even know how you typo that. I n yeah no. B and P are yeah. kind of Yeah, don't even. <laughs> what, father? I'm footloose and fancy free. <laughs> so he clearly doesn't remember who we are. That pumpkin head guy, he's the new actual hacker's ruler. For reals this time. Yeah, we mean it. Pumpkin, I don't even, I don't even know. Like they, they just stopped caring. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the villain gonna be? Out of pumpkin? <laughs> they were just driving down the street when, you know, during Halloween. Yeah. They're like, what can we do? Spooky ghost? No. no. Pumpkin. <laughs> Not even a scary looking pumpkin, because like that smile's just real yeah, smooth, no, you know. Alright, we found mouse hole. Alright, so somehow they beat us here. But they're trying to figure out why Dr. Akihabara doesn't work. Uh so they want, they want him to build this giant laser cannon that's going to destroy the planet. And uh, I guess something's wrong with it. So, I don't know. I don't really know what's going on with him in this section. Hmm, an unusual mouse. His goofy face reminds me of that boy. That's an unforgettable line. Yeah. <laughs> what boy? That's an unforgivable line. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> All right, so shield three is also good. <laughs> what, <boy>? <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely not the jealous type. No, no. So Inventor's Friend three, that's the last Inventor's Friend we actually care about. Or Inventor's Friend 10, shield three. Um, with my old route, I would get shield three in the old mansion before I fight the Moss Boss. Moss? Moss Boss? Moss Boss, yep. Yeah, sounds right. Just keep going. Counting it. <laughs> um, but you have to be level 10 to read that, and I was like level 6 or something at that point. So, yeah, I didn't get it there. But Shield 3 is really, really good. Um, it's going to increase my survivability pretty significantly. <laughs> Hoping you wouldn't see me. <laughs> All right, these are cool guys too. They're called Bumpies. Bumpies. <laughs> oh man, they're they're mean too. Bumpies. It's it's really sad that you don't get to see a lot of the other enemies in this this game. Yeah. Including my favorite, who's gonna be a few rooms from now. He's he's great. All right, so this is Doctor G. I'd love to hear about your latest invention. So, oh, you need mouse. Okay. Hello, is mouse. So they developed this thing that uh, allows them to go inside computers. Um, I'm not going to be their test subject. <laughs> They're just running around dancing and yeah. singing. <laughs> it's easier than washing your pants. So into the computer we go, come back out, and they're like, wow, he didn't just get disintegrated. We did the thing. <laughs> Let's go investigating in further in. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, sir, it's easier than washing your pants. <laughs> All right, Wait, Mouse. what? Read book. So I'm too short to use this. I'll show you, though. I can't reach it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Again, make plot item first before I do other things. So we're going to build some, uh, some shield threes as well. And then we're going to go try and save Dr. G. So I think Shield 2 gives, like... I actually don't remember the evasion boost that it gives. Uh, so it's an 8 improvement. So it gives me uh, 8 evasion. Shield 3 is 16 defense, 16 evasion. Um, it's pretty, pretty good. So what happens, you're supposed to talk to that other assistant. Um... And he's like, hmm, Dr. G hasn't come back yet. And that's it. He doesn't really care. He's just kind of letting us know. <laughs> um, so that's our cue to go save him. <laughs> this, this, unfortunately, I'm not going to choose the uh, the other option because it's, it's pretty time-consuming. But 
Uh, when we navigate through this area, we can find Dr. G. He's, uh, he wants us to escort him out, and he'll either give us information or money. <laughs> and when you play through, you're like, hey, money. All right, yeah, I'll take money from you. Yeah, it will go. Uh, information. So if you choose money, then when you leave the uh, when you leave the computer, he's like, "Wow, you did it! All right, my assistant will pay you." <laughs> and the assistant starts sweating. Like, he's got the beads of sweat running up, and he's like, I, "I, really? I don't get paid very much." And he's like, "Okay, here's everything I have, and it's like 50 gold or oh, something man. so sad." And you don't actually get the key that you need. Like you need you need this key to move on. And you just can't proceed until you, you talk to him again. He's like, I'm kind of sad because I wanted to eat this week. <laughs> You're like, all right, fine. You can have your money back. And then he's like, oh, man, thanks. Anyways, you can have this key. <laughs> I felt actually bad when I took his money. <laughs> Poor guy. Dr. G just doesn't care. Okay, so these guys. Oh, those guys are these big face? No, that's, not big that's face. face man. Okay. <laughs> yep. Yep. Face man. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely incredible name. And like they just have a big wobbly like bobblehead face in battle. It's and they just kind of like wiggle little rounds and then hit you with a sword once in a while. Yep. The next boss in Mega Man 11. <laughs> 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 big face man. Alright, so speaking of the next boss, um, we are we are a much higher level than, than we should be right now, uh, thanks to the crab guys. Um, in this area, we should be around 16, I think, somewhere around there, and instead we're 20. And we also have the strongest equipment in the game because we've been uh, building wisely. So this boss is not... he bug, is not bug. adequate guard. <laughs> We'll have to negotiate? Yeah, we sure will. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the other thing. This is what Turbo Pack does. It lets me move real fast with these tank treads. And, uh... Stop. I'll show you stop. Stay right there. See what happens. Oh. <laughs> See what happens. Alright, so stop means you can't move. <sighs> Bug Bug's playing it safe. Yeah. <laughs> he knows what's about to go. <laughs> if you hit him with a crit, he instantly dies. He only has 800 health. And a crit would do like 870 or something to him. But he's gonna die in the next hit anyways. But he basically has a 0% chance of hitting me. My evasion right now is so ridiculous. So that was him, Bug Bug. He gave it the good old college try. <laughs> Alright. Levels at this point really don't matter too much. I'm gonna actually take this one. Some of them I just won't even bother allocating the stat points because it just doesn't matter. I'm also gonna heal Giles. All right, so what was actually supposed to happen there, I kind of did things a little bit out of sequence. Um, you're supposed to go and talk to your dad first. And he's like, blah, 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 I don't remember things. And uh, you find out that this guy's got his memory and then you go there and you kill him and that returns his memory. So. Uh, we're gonna go talk to our dad now, after already having done all of that. How are you doing for pace? I don't know. 219? Pretty good. I'm gonna try and not PB, so I'm gonna keep yeah, adding more and more side quests. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, because we're, that's, that's we're not honestly allowed. on pace right now to cut 35, 40 minutes off the estimate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're gonna we're gonna keep doing things. Face man. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's the guard. This guy's this guy's the guard for uh, my dad's room. This isn't the trash room. What? You've been separated? His memory's gone? Oh, too bad. So he just lets us straight in. Be strong, go for it, Kirby <laughs> Diaz. Seize the day. <laughs> Thanks, man. Big Kazam? What have I done? Yeah, what have you done? <laughs> Alright, so this is a really nice trap. 
Um, in, the, in the next room, if you don't hold left, you immediately get into a battle, and those guys will just beat you so hard. <laughs> <laughs> like, they would probably kill me right now. These guys do not care. Like, he just starts walking on top of you. There's 5,000 more golds. We are really, really <laughs> set for money right now. <laughs> Fake as I am this way. So yeah, we have to follow our father. There are two things that we have to do in this fortress now. Um, he doesn't remember pretty much anything about what he did except the giant laser cannon that he made. So he's going to go take care of that, and I'm going to go flood the fortress. I'm counting on you. Okay, one more detour. Um, scrap nines are extremely good. Uh, we need two of them before the next boss. Not the next boss, but the next next boss. So it's very important that I collect that. If I forget to collect that, I can lose a really large chunk of time. But I didn't, so we're good. All right, waterway is flooded, so we just have to backtrack all the way back to where we were and then go down some stairs. So uh, if you have anything to say, that would be an all right time. Yeah, we got a donation in from Anonymous that says, it's $30. It says, hey, PJ, having a great time watching your run. Keep it up. I've lurked in your stream for quite a while and keep questioning my own poor life choice of being constantly drawn to the mayhem that is your channel. It's been a great ride, and I'm happy to support such a great cause. Work, work, squaw. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and let's see. I'm going to just keep people up to date on some upcoming bid stuff because yeah. there's some stuff that could use some help and stuff like that so uh naming uh aya in paradise eve you've uh, got uh, dilbert three on thirty dollars and one cent and mother on a dollar so dilbert is currently <laughs> winning that one good old dilbert, <laughs> yeah, good old dilbert. <laughs> uh naming the gummy ship in uh kingdom hearts that is coming up after yokai watch uh you have Koji sucks with $20, Lockwood with $30, and then Riku sucks with $35. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> <got puppy. laughs> He's keeping you at bay with that bat. Right. And just because it's, P uh, it's PJ's character choice, uh, PJ's runner's choice, the storyline choice in Saiken Densetsu 3, uh, you have Archdemon on $10, Dark Lich on $10, and Dragon Emperor on $710. <laughs> Good. So I think Dragon <laughs> Emperor is winning race. that one right now. <laughs> it's a close race. So if you guys race. are like Archdemon or Lich fans, you might want to start donating some money. That's all I'm saying. Uh, so. Face man. All right, boss time. Uh, so I want shield pack for this one. And everything else looks good. All right, so now we fight Pumpkinhead. If he drops money, I'm actually going to be upset. <laughs> um, but this guy, he's, he's again, pretty pretty simple. There, I'll probably die once during the fight, just because he'll probably crit with, uh, with his machine gun. <laughs> but he's pretty standard. So he has, uh, he has an attack, like this ramming attack, that'll knock me back all the way to the far wall. And the tank treads are extremely slow, and I need the evasion boost from shield pack, so I can't use turbo pack. So instead, what I'm going to do is just stand here and let him come to me. Was he keeping that tank under his cloak? Maybe. Yeah, okay. It's a big cloak. Oh my gosh. These attacks. Yeah, the, I don't even know. I don't even know. And only and one of them hit you. Yep. And even The that other was... guy was just like, no. <laughs> I'm free. <laughs> so that was the dangerous attack, his machine gun attack. Nice. I'm going to block three times then. So there's a weird bug here where if you block the first deck of a uh, of a round, that might kill. Um, oh, oh. If you block the first attack of a round, you're guaranteed to block all of the attacks from the round. Um, so yeah, if he does a ramming attack and it it gets blocked, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> large coastal missiles, yeah. fire them inside your own fortress. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like For when you hit him; his <laughs> bug eyes pop out of the yeah. Yeah, Bug Bug has a really good attack. Uh, Those whatever. missiles are bigger than the tank. Yes. Quiet. They're assembled as they're launched. 
<laughs> Alright, so he's probably got two or three more hits. Oh, yeah, there it is. It was overdue. He he took his chance. All right, your turn to try and kill Giles. All right, well, turn's over. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay, okay. That grin wasn't for nothing. He knows the attack now, man. He knows the attack. Okay, well, that's the end of him. Farewell. Let's end with a crit. No, okay. So that's fine. Um, I only have, like, two repairs left, but I'm going to be buying, like, 20 of them in the next town, so... It's not not a big deal. We all know I've got the money for it. <laughs> drop, 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 drop. <laughs> I'm not even going to check. I'm going to run off screen before <laughs> <laughs> PJ, go get it. Go Come get on. it, PJ. If this is 7,500 golds, we're going to have... Okay. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm never going to do attempts of this game again. <laughs> I just spent all of it. I spent all of my luck ever. <laughs> all right. Well, yeah, no, we have fat loot now, so <laughs> we're just going to buy the final boss. <laughs> Maybe, how about I give you 10,000 gold and you don't destroy the planet? <laughs> Gale toss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Robot comes out with just a big sack of coins and just <laughs> slaps him upside down. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay, well, surprise, Blackmore wasn't the actual ruler. It's Rose again. Oh, man. Um... So this is apparently the Tetron. If she pushes this, then something... <laughs> it just starts spinning. So if I actually game over, this is what you would see. You'd see this, and then the letters game over, like drop down and dance and whatnot. And it's this theme. So the game over theme is actually this town's theme. It's uh, pretty interesting. <laughs> this kid has seen some stuff. <laughs> He's never going to be right again. He's just a head on the top of a... <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, later, kid. So this is actually past Rococo, and there is a load of really cool side quest stuff that you can do here. It's actually really, really, uh, really, really cool. Um, I'm not going to be doing most of it because a lot of it's really time-consuming. That's good here. Um, but it's something that you can do. Oh, I also forgot to do that. So, um... Giles doesn't actually have to attack. I mean, he has zero power. There's no reason for him to ever try and attack anything. So I'm just giving him two shields and a shield pack. So he literally can't do anything in battle. He just sits there and gets hit. And uh, then I revive my main guy. Those birds. The birds are... <laughs> they know exactly yeah. where you're going. Yeah. The birds are really unfortunate here, too, because they're so fast that you can't actually gain any ground on them. Uh, which makes it really difficult to uh, refresh your vanish. They gave me a really good opportunity here, though, so I'm going to take it. Um, but yeah, in past Rococo, you can do some really cool things. Like, the tool shop isn't even open. The tool shop needs some startup capital. And the mayor's house is, like, blown up. Or I probably did it. But, uh, <laughs> not going to say yes or no for sure, but it was almost definitely me. Uh, so they need money to rebuild the mayor's house. And, like, if you... What nerve? A mouse? Dude, I will fight you. <laughs> I will fight you. <laughs> I'm throwing my Pokeball out. Um, yeah, so if you, if you uh, help finance the mayor's house, then they take, like, a memorial photo, and you get to pose, and then, like, if you go to the present Rococo, you can look through a photo album, and your picture's in there, which is pretty neat. You can get your photo taken as a mouse, too. <laughs> like seven townsfolk, and then the mouse just, like, hanging out in the background. <laughs> so those are big fans. They're weird, clown, creepy, scary guys. Um, they're actually very, very dangerous. I'll tell Rose... Um, yeah, so you can, let's see, you can finance the mayor's house, you can, uh, 
finance the tool shop. You can plant flowers. Uh, you can donate little robot to the account. <laughs> you can do all kinds of really, really cool stuff. Doesn't the account like tickle? He's like, this is so cool. Yeah, you, he's just so excited for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's like, they're trying to build the mansion. Uh, so we went in the past, and uh, Rask is now alive in this time uh, time time zone, era, whatever. <laughs> Doesn't matter. And uh, so is Count Prinky and Igor. So we actually get to meet Count Prinky and Igor at the time that they're building the mansion. Um, so you get to help him build the mansion. You can give him a little robot, and he's like, Wow, look at this guy. He doesn't even need to eat. <laughs> <laughs> he's awesome. And then yep. he, he works himself to death. Yeah. <laughs> and um, you can go there in the present then. You can use the, the weather thing, the thing that makes it rain, and it washes up scraps of the robot. And you can actually rebuild him in the, the invention machine. Yep. Like, it gives you scrap B, and you can use scrap B and, like, smoke or something, and it combines back into little robot again. It's pretty great. So this is not necessary. Uh, this is a, a side quest. It is necessary for the route, but not for actually finishing the game. Um, those two are having some drama. The family jewels were stolen, and he's blaming the only other person in the in the house. But nope, it was mice instead. <laughs> mice, <laughs> mice are everywhere. They have a real problem in this world. <laughs> These man-sized mice are taking over. <laughs> so you talk to the cat, and the cat's like, "Yeah, I saw the mouse do it. What of it?" Um, and now we can go go and steal his stuff. Uh, and the reason I'm doing this is because there's another Scrap 9 here. And that's very important. Um, because I'm also a jerk, I'm just gonna take his jewels and leave. <laughs> if you talk to him with the jewels, he's like, oh, that's where they were, I should go forgive her. And then, like, the family drama in present Rococo is fixed, but... No. I'm gonna hang on to him. Just jack all that money while you're at it. Yeah, I may as well. I'm already here. <laughs> I love how you're like, you're stealing all their money, but you feel terrible for stealing the, the guy's 50. Dude, that assistant was so sad, though. I know, but it's just like, <laughs> steal from the rich to give to the poor or I something. Mean, that, guy, you're just... <laughs> that guy didn't even know his money was stolen. He's not going to miss it. <laughs> all right, another person. This is another place where it's just like, it's so confusing your first time through because nothing makes sense. All right, Forest of Illusions waiting. So we're going to buy the tool shop. And this is, again, something that we actually do in the route. Um, if you talk to this guy, you can give him 5,000 gold and uh, finance the entire tool shop. 5,000 gold. Yeah, I'll give you 5,000. <laughs> I'm sure. Big Sam gave him 5,000 gold. And now we can buy stuff at half price, which is really neat. So we're going to buy 20 repairs. <laughs> um, it might seem excessive, but it is not. Uh, so, yeah, this is Final Fantasy 1 style shopkeep. You buy them one at a time. This is a repair. It repairs a dead robot. Are you sure you want it? <laughs> All right. You just bought 10 more like it. You <laughs> still need more? <laughs> so, I'll keep buying these until I'm down to like seven grand. Mm -mm -mm. All right, just barely made it. So we should have 21 now. All right. Okay, that should be enough. I, unless all the bad luck catches up right at the no, end. No, no, don't, don't even speak of it. Let's hope we get just that one run. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> all right, so this forest evolution is actually different than the one in the present. It's less illusion-y. <laughs> Pretty much just one path. <laughs> They're still designing it. All right. So this is another real cool like continuity thing. Um, when you go here, he meets Prinky and Igor. So they want to find a place to build their mansion. And if you remember in the present, which I highly doubt anybody does, <laughs> spaceship. Uh, if you remember the present, then uh, the mansion is north of the Forest of Illusion instead of south, where we're at right now. Um, so they, they try to build a mansion, but there's an invisible spaceship there. So you're like, this is an unlucky place. Not There's something preventing us from stepping over here. Just, this is, this is unlucky. This is no bueno. We should maybe try somewhere else. Um, so yeah, then you can go through the Forest of Illusion again and find the new, the new uh, mansion building site. 
and donate the robot and all that cool stuff. I'm not gonna do that though, because I don't I don't really care about them. So up to this point, everybody's confused because I look just like Rask. Um, so we managed to sneak onto Rask's spaceship with his uh, his companions and the robot that he built. Um, and they're like, wait a minute, you're not Rask? Oh. Well, take us to Rask then. So Napoleon's gonna he's gonna come with us. Oh boy. All right, scrap nine and scrap nine. <laughs> shield five. five. So that is the highest level shield. Um, shield five is super good. It's like 30, 32 guard and 32 evasion. It's double the evasion of the next highest. So it's also cool because it coordinates with your robot's armor. So whatever <laughs> color your robot is, shield five is the same color. It's really neat. All right, we're set now. Sorry, Napoleon. I'm not good at following directions. <laughs> Kotetsu says, don't make a mess of it. I blow up the whole fortress. Napoleon says, take me there straight away. All right, I'm going to use this room, though, first. <laughs> Move it, kid. I'm actually kind of surprised there's nothing to do with Surprise Horn or Vanish for these kids. You can't give it to them, I can scare it out of them again. <laughs> so this is also in the past and robots apparently didn't exist. Uh, so now there's giant robot in their living room and two people that look identical. So really, in this entire past section, nothing has developed at all. It's more just like, are you Rask? No? All right, well, let's, let's go find Rask. And you just confuse people for the first, like, 15 minutes. Um, so we haven't actually done anything of any importance, um, except right here. So Rask knows that got to, oh, spoiler alert, he's not a good guy. So Napoleon's going to go and tell him everything that happened, and we don't want that to happen. Kato, the original kicker of sand. <laughs> <laughs> he taught them how to kick sand yeah. castles down. <laughs> All right, Cookie again. She's like, wait, I sent you with a robot. You came back alone and Gato left. I am a terrible friend to these people. <laughs> All right, so there's our cue. Yellow text, cave. Time to do things. So we have to go find uh, Gato and Napoleon. We don't really even know what they're up to. It's just something to do because there's nothing to do in the past. Just right, lots of here. gator heads. Come here. Come here. <laughs> lots of gator heads. The gator heads were brought in to try and eat the mice. <laughs> Drill. All right, so this section is really, really irritating. Um, the big fans just like get in the way and spin around and trigger battles when you don't want them to. Um, and I want to have Vanish equipped for as long as possible because there's lots of puddles and Vanish lets you run extremely fast over puddles. And through this narrow straight, which would also slow you down otherwise. Um, but these guys can, like this guy here in particular, he spawns in the middle of this narrow passageway and sometimes just doesn't want to come out. Got pretty lucky. All right, secret entrance to Hacker Fortress. No one here. <laughs> He's gone. He didn't make it inside. <laughs> um, got the right thing. So there's a skip coming up that I call the clown skip. Um, what happens here? Even if you're a mouse, the rose recognize you. She's like, I know that goofy face anywhere. And she drops you down this pit, and you just completely face plant. And you can't use the inventory or anything when you're face planted. You can only move. Uh, but there's a clown directly on top of you. So you can skip that battle by pressing a direction and the menu shortly afterwards um, during the right frame of his animation. Hmm. 
So it didn't recognize my first input, which made it impossible to do. Yeah. So, it's completely unavoidable initiative for them. Um, and if you die, you end up losing like 40-something seconds from the battle. It's really awful. Mm -hmm. um, but that wasn't too bad. Not a big deal. But, yeah, if you do it properly, your character stands up and immediately enters the menu before they're able to trigger a battle, and then you just equip Vanish and leave. But, again, like, it, it's not just a timing for stepping in a direction and opening the menu. It, it deter It's based on what animation frame they're on when they're spinning around. That has some impact on the collision detection. It's really awkward. Robot, hard to destroy. Yep. I have to finish you off before I go or Rose will get hysterical. <laughs> Rose is always hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy, this guy is unfortunate. He's another one I feel bad for. He's just following his orders. Yeah. If you I, notice, our I just experience. wanted to walk hand in hand with a girl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> we uh, notice the experience. Yeah, just the the experience that you've been getting over the course of the game has not really gone up a whole lot. Mm -mm. Um, <laughs> and they kind of designed the game around this too. Yeah. So like, and the, the the levels that you go up are very gradual. And it's something that you really have to work towards in order to get to, especially some of the laters in Venture Friends and yeah. things like that. Unless you fight crabs. Unless you fight crabs, yeah. Yeah, because there's not really much of an experience. Uh, uh oh. Napoleon the hero. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can break this wall. Wow. <laughs> get out the way. <laughs> um, I don't want clown here. I don't want clown here. <laughs> and I have to unequip this because Vanish will go away if I open it otherwise. Um, your experience doesn't really ramp up very much. Like every level, every additional level, you need two megs more than the previous. Oh, so it doesn't so even. like a single battle. Yeah, it doesn't scale up very much at all. Which is why I was able to gain six levels and five crabs. Yep. Because it just never ramped up. So Napoleon can't walk fast on puddles, but I can because I'm vanished. So you can see the speed difference in using vanish right there. Yeah, it's you're still pretty... slowed down a little bit. Though. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, so we we fixed Napoleon up, and uh, he was willing to serve as our light and our drill because we dropped our light and our drill. Um, and that was a dumb thing to do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I got scared. They were the clowns. <laughs> I should have held on to the drill for the clowns. But... Yeah. <laughs> Um, I tried skipping the light, and it just doesn't let you. And Napoleon's like, are you sure you didn't miss anything? Like that capsule right there? You should maybe open that up. You need the drill, but you don't need the light for anything. All right, so the next boss is coming up extremely soon. And she is uh, the most difficult fight in the game. Yeah, the, the 20 repairs that he has are no joke. Uh, and this is one of the battles why. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's a new strat that, um, again, the Japanese runners came up with, which is ingenious. Um, and that is the building build, uh, building shield 5 early. That mm -hmm. gives you a big enough evasion bo boost to use um, turbo pack instead of shield pack, which means that you can get consistent back attacks. Okay. Um, and it cuts the battle down from, like, needing 23 hits to needing... A lot less than 23 hits. <laughs> Alright. So I, I still don't really even know what the Tetron does. Like they were saying they were using it to power the laser to destroy the planet, but now time travel? And also projection? So I'm not really sure. We just don't want them to get that. That's basically it. And Rose just tells Gato that she's been in charge of everything from the beginning and manipulating people so that she could be the one in charge. We don't really care, though. She probably has money to give us, so we're going to go kill her. <laughs> you finished that machine.
Yeah, I've got nothing. I mean, I could try and explain the plot here, but it just doesn't matter. <laughs> none of this plot, <laughs> none of it makes sense, even if you try and understand it, really, but... All right, here we go. You know what happens when she gets mad. <laughs> so, Rose has run resistance, so I can't hit her with the triple axe swing. I have to rely on single axe swings. If I do the triple swing, it'll either um, do one damage or it'll crit for like 900. But it's not uh, its not a good idea. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that is standard. So she has uh, three attacks that she can use. Um, that is the one that is the most dangerous, the head smash thing. She also has a disable beam. Oh my gosh. Wow, yeah, she, she is angry. He has max guard, by the way, and two shields. So she hurts. She hurts a lot. Block. That's Ting. nice. So she has that. She has the bomb and the disable beam. Yep. That's the disable beam. So we really want disable beam or bomb. They have very low accuracy. Um, head smash. I should still dodge unless it's a crit. But it has a really high crit chance. Wow. As you can see. <laughs> so. A Hulk smash. Yeah. And again, you need, like, even though the crit ignores your evasion stat, you still need really high evasion to just not get killed by a non-crit attack. Like, she has really, really good accuracy. Um, the bombs don't, and the disable beam doesn't. You can still get hit by him, it's not unheard of, but if I had a little bit lower evasion, I would be dying pretty consistently here. Oh my gosh. Okay. So with this strat, it's um, probably the average number of deaths that I have. I'm going to cure while I'm here. Yeah, that's a good plan. The average number of deaths that I have here is uh, two. Normally I kill her with only one death. Um, but you can easily just get bad luck, and she can crit you like four times in a row, and you just lose a bunch of time. So, that's what happens. You know what happens when she gets mad. She crits you some more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but this is the advantage of the turbo pack strat, because we're still, still able to dodge uh, mostly everything. Wow. Um, and we're able to get consistent back attacks. So, three crits from her is really rare. But I'm in no position to talk about rare things. <laughs> um, and I'm in no danger of running out of repairs either. I have 9,000 spare gold. Um, and there are plenty of places for me to stock up on more of them. Um, so since it is pretty unlucky to lose what's well, only been four repairs so far, three crits and then a non-crit. Yep. Um, oh, wow. One. That'll help. Back crit. <laughs> <laughs> she returned the favor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ah, that's how you do that? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody got crits up on me. Yeah. Yeah, so since I'm only really expecting to lose, like, two repairs, uh, and I've used five, I'm definitely going to stock up on more in the tool shop. It's not going to take much time, and it's not going to affect the route at all. It's scary. It's scary. Every time she uses that, it's like, all right, here it comes. Alright, she's probably reasonably close. Wow. Oh, wow, this is incredible. She's probably only like three hits away. One good crit would probably... Oh no, I'm not doing the, the special attack, so... Yeah, probably three turns away. I think she's only used the Disable Beam once this battle. Oh, uh, she's used it a couple times. Has she? Yep. Alright, she's probably really close. If not this attack, then the next one. Yeah. Alright, All right. DeRose. So that was really unfortunate, <laughs> but we're okay still. Um, I'm actually going to take this level too, so I can give that guy some more HP. Sixty-nine, sixty-nine. I didn't expect. Right. So she fell in her own pitfall. I'm gonna take her money now. I don't need it. I really don't. I'm just gonna throw it in the river. But... <laughs> Are you doing wish. Robot Three? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, You've got we'll, nothing else to spend we'll, it on. Yeah, we'll do Robot Three for sure. 
250 right? Yeah, our, no, our time is fine. <laughs> <laughs> we have we have one more dungeon to go. <laughs> so, yeah, we're we're fine. We'll go create board. We'll kill him in battle and then that'll be it. <laughs> He'll have served his purpose. Sacrifice board. In line You know, green. I could just I could switch the stats around so he's the one that attacks. I don't know if I really want to trust. No, I don't really want to <laughs> trust the run with him. Though. Cart five has been doing okay yeah, so far. Yeah, he's been doing fine. Wow. Been doing Although fine. I guess cart five has problems on final bosses. <laughs> he does. <laughs> he does. They do more damage yeah. than we thought. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Run. I'd be more afraid if the final boss was just suddenly renamed Gorsia 5000. <laughs> Gato 5000? Yeah, Gato 5000. <laughs> or it just is Gorsia. <laughs> <laughs> He's shown up from 7 songs. Yeah. Like, I've had enough of this. Blop. <laughs> yep. All right, so I don't even know. Did we even succeed in the cave? Like, we didn't even kill Rose or stop her at all. She just fell down a pit. We got some money. It's We, we took her money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's all that matters. Um, Gato escaped, and Rose, I mean, it's her cave, so she's going to be able to escape. Um, so, yeah, we have to go and, uh, I guess, talk to Cookie and see if we can prevent that spaceship from taking off. Let's buy the stuff here. I was going to wait for present Rococo, but this is my shop. I may as well <laughs> use it. Ten thousand right. gold. Ten thousand gold is ridiculous. You should have like six hundred at this point. <laughs> All right, one more. Now we're good. We've got three bosses left. One of them has hit me once ever, <laughs> and then the other two. Who knows what's gonna happen? Another cool feature of this spaceship I'll show since I'm right here. Spaceship has an R button on the yep. bottom left side. Oh wow, <laughs> good work. I, I don't know why. I, there's nothing, nothing that you can really do with it. It doesn't have an L button. Either. Cookies are out of control. <laughs> They're bad, <laughs> bad cookies. <laughs> really undercooked. <laughs> All right, sup, dude. Tetron's defective. So, all of the people that are named after desserts are from outer space, including Rask. Um, Gato and Cookie and Tira and Napoleon, they're all aliens. So our ancestor... Rask is a dessert? Sure it is. Okay. It's, uh, you know... So it's, it's Rask. that one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he's got to be a dessert. He's from, the, he's from outer space. Their planet's called Choco, too. Bo? Joe, Chocobo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, despite being in the past, we're apparently just napping. We've still got fancy glasses. Yeah, <laughs> they're my napping glasses. <laughs> Where does it hurt? <laughs> what old Rococo? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take credit for everything, Dad. What? You don't remember? I blew up the fortress. I was the hero. Okay. I don't want to equip that. Earthquake. <laughs> yeah, I was just immediately, leave it there. After, immediately after <laughs> earthquake, it's fine to go out. You're good. Go outside and play. They really, really need to seal this cave. I mean, this is the third time it's blown up this entire run. It's just bad news all around. Yeah. Where Jelly? I thought it was one lower. If he kills me, I'm just gonna I'm gonna shut her down. Okay. Run! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Please. Okay. All right, so he's not going to let me in, but if I'm a mouse, then he doesn't care. That seems fine. Yeah. <laughs> they stop mice from entering other places. <laughs> Those aren't the special mice operatives. Right. Who is this? 
This. This is uh, Tara. Yeah. Yep. So, oh, okay. she uh, smashed her space shuttle into the cave. <laughs> <laughs> and now they're here. <laughs> Um, so they're from the same planet that my ancestors from, and uh, so what I don't really understand, if Rask is my ancestor, then my dad also is Rask's descendant. Uh, so why did they come talk to the younger inventor instead of the famous doctor guy that already knows about the Tetron? He was busy. He was he was at his computer <laughs> buying Actraiser Two and Illusion of Gaia. He's yep. playing with it's playing with Kirogane, the cat. Yep. Just meow. <laughs> meow. <laughs> cat won't let me help you out, I'm sorry. <laughs> Here you go. Here's a spaceship. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, the Tetron's out of control, blah blah blah. Gato's in power. They need our help. So we're going to go to outer space and probably end up screwing things up. Have you not screwed anything up that you've done so far? No, I think everything's fine here. Okay. Everything's everything's all right. So the other thing, right, the Tetron were the three stones, but in the last few scenes they were all combined into like that... Thing. That diamond, diamond gem-shaped thingy. I mean, it's probably an octahedron, but it's whatever. So did he separate him back out afterwards? Yep. Okay. All right, time to get in our spaceship. Pocket spaceship. Oh, yeah. Right in the <laughs> that kid, <laughs> that kid does not want to be in this town anymore. <laughs> Uh, so outer space is cool because there's a uh, there's a hidden place right here, Kirara. That's the uh, the outer space library that has every inventor's friend in the game. So if there were any that you missed, you could just go there and start reading. And uh, <laughs> the spaceship's not done. It's just like I'll get you. You get back here. <laughs> So this is more or less the good guy planet. Yes. Yeah, this is the good guy planet. Well, the other good guy planet. The main good guy planet's Quintinex. We're the better guys. So for some reason, he also wants broken Napoleon. So we're like, whatever, I can't combine this with anything. <laughs> you can take him. Finally. So... They're trying to mount an offense against the uh, the hackers who have an outer space fortress. Um, and they think that the Tetron is going to be the key there. Oh, look at that guy, Gato. He's just hanging out. What's up, dude? Yeah, he's probably fine. <laughs> All right. Let's get to work. Here it comes. Why is this leaking? You you asked me that yesterday. <laughs> so in the meanwhile, uh, I have a hundred dollar donation here from Eclipse Husky, oh. saying that he hopes Boardbot gets to do final negotiations. And I was thinking, since we're at eleven thousand eight hundred and eighty, if we hit twelve k, would you finish the game with Board? Sure. So there you go, guys. If we hit 12k before the final fight, he's lime green. Lime he green. Is lime green. We will uh, exec. We will aggressively negotiate with board. All right, board. I'll prepare you then. <laughs> What's the max number of uh, points that you can program? Uh, I think max level is 99, so that Oh, it plus... just keeps going until you can fill it all up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then you just end up putting all the rest of it in energy. <laughs> so you have, like... Energy for days. Yeah, you have three robots that have, you know, 500 health and max stats. All right. Board is complete. I'm not going to give him anything. He doesn't need things. <laughs> he's just going to end up, like, eating them or something. To... I'm just... He'll be fine. If he's going to do the final negotiations, I'll swap equipment over. 
I have a, a, for, a $40 donation from an anonymous donor. It says, Kingdom Hearts is one of the games I associate most with my depression. I will never forget the quote on the back of the KH2. Darkness will never take over our hearts. Uh, he's so sad that they can't stay up for it in the UK. Happy to catch up on it on VOD. To anyone suffering, just a word of advice. I've been suffering for seven and a half years, and I'm still standing. And he wow. always keep fighting, because you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. Good luck to, to everyone speedrunning. Hopefully I'll catch up on such an awesome event. As for the gummy ship, Vegeta God, because why not? <laughs> Thank you so much for that donation. Yeah. What I miss? Everything. Okay. It's over. This is the credits. Oh. Epilogue. Board it's happened. <laughs> Board what? Board happened. Board happened? Yeah, I created Third Robot. Oh, gosh. Did, did it just explode upon when it came out? Not yet. In no. 95 more dollars, it's probably going to <laughs> explode, though. So if, if we reach 12,000, Ford is going to do the final boss rush. Oh, man. I probably should have bought another 30 repairs. <laughs> <laughs> BRB buying more repairs. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I know there's a crisis, but where's your tool shop? <laughs> All right. So this is the most infuriating cutscene. Will someone volunteer? Yes. Me? I will go. Okay, fine. We'll draw straws. So this guy is the king of all jerks. <laughs> all right, everybody with a red straw gets to go. There's four red straws. <laughs> I'm the only one who's seen battle, and I can't just volunteer to go. We have to, he has to walk around to give everybody a chance to draw a straw. So since Omni's with us, I have a $25 donation from Worm Talent saying, Wild Carper still needs a name, so I'll give him one. To aid this run, I will offer up the most powerful name from Sukaden, Taiho. This is for who? Uh, this is for uh, an another game, but uh, it's from Worm Talon. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Worm Talon. He was on the couch with me last night. Uh, first, we get into a run. And a quick $5 from Cosmic the Dolphin saying, I can't wait to see all you nerds on Thursday. Looking forward to it, Cosmic. That is such an epic spaceship scene. Yeah. I enjoy it. We are still $95 from the Vengeance of Borg. <laughs> you can't use the bathroom in Warp. <laughs> Thanks. That's, I mean, just out of nowhere, completely unprompted. That's definitely the voice of experience. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we're going to go in Warp Speed, just throwing this out there. You don't want to try and use the bathroom in warp speed. So anyways, this vehicle or this spaceship is going to be hard to destroy, which means it's immediately under attack. Yep. Oh no, we're done for. Yep, rip. Game over. Use the bathroom in warp. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. So, Kotatsu shot us down? <laughs> Wait, what? I, things get real sketchy <laughs> in the end of this game. What is he still doing? I don't know. I really don't know. So his whole story, apparently, is that he owes somebody a debt because he's treasure hunter, thief, gambler. From space. Guy from space. Okay. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have hit $12,000. Oh, oh, wow. We sure have. All right. Due to two, two, two donations, one from Anonymous, just $10 saying, PJ owns. And that's it, really. <laughs> I'm not sure what you own. <laughs> but with the amount of money you have, probably everything. Yeah, probably yeah. everything. <laughs> At uh, least one tool shop. <laughs> 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 and the dog that I bought. And we have, <laughs> we have $120 from Jackson saying, I'm loving the run so far. Good luck on the RNG crits. Thank you. Well, board will take care of that. <laughs> He'll take care of everything. He'll take care of everything. So Mint is also on the spaceship because, all right, you, you're going to have a bomb and these boots and a basic gun. Uh, shield 5 is this one. Sorry, card 5. You're about to be, you're about to be something else. Removed. <laughs> the double sword one. Yeah. <laughs> Just he's, to he's, make sure. <laughs> if, sword, if it, sword. I was going to go back to say, if it's cart one and you've got two what, sword ones, does that make it sword, sword? Yeah, yeah that's yes. exactly. Yep, the sword, sword. 
So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna just destroy card five in the next battle. <laughs> of course. We're I thought you were just gonna end it at destroy card five. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We've been trying to tell him to do that for months. It'll come back stronger than ever before. <laughs> we just have to quarantine it. If we strike it down, it will become more Paul power yeah. than we can <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for some reason, Kotetsu is able to fly into the fortress. I don't know, this guy This guy has everything. Apparently, except some money. Oh, I guess you did give him some. I Yeah, I gave him the 5,000. That was penny changed. <laughs> All right, so the final fortress is... Uh, we have to visit it twice, and they're actually really, really short visits each time, separated by very long cutscenes. So we're done with the, we're done with the cutscenes uh, for the first visit. I kind of lied. There's small ones here and there, but um, yeah. So this is going to be pretty quick. Business must be bad, huh? Who's this guy? Mofofo too. <laughs> what? Mofofo. <laughs> Don't show him the mofofo. <laughs> So when I first played this game, I was like, I don't know what this is. <laughs> and it was like, at the time before the internet was invented, so I like checked the encyclopedia in the dictionary. I'm like, I don't know what this is. Mufufu? I feel like I'm missing important storyline element here. No. It's just... It's just Mufufu. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> is Mufufu a relation of Mojo Jojo? Yes. <laughs> Mufu fufu, Jojo? <laughs> Mufu -mufu bufu. Mufu bufu. <laughs> These guys. The alarm goes off. Immediate panic. <laughs> Hello, is Mouse. Yes. Squeak. Those are Bumpies. Wait, right, right, no, Pumpies. Pumpy. There's Bumpy, Bumpy and Pumpy are those two, and that's Big Face. Big Face. <laughs> Very descriptive names. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're good. I found the intruder. Just kidding, it's me again. I had time to change and follow you. So there's a bug with this cutscene sometimes where... So with all the other cutscenes, you have to wait for the person you talk to to actually leave the room. But in this one, you gain control immediately. But if you actually move immediately, sometimes it never sets the flag for this cutscene finishing. So he gives you the red password and you come up here to try and use it. And the game's like, you gotta know the password. Like, what? I just, I just did, I thought. So I had a run again back in like 2010 or so when I was first running this game. It took three attempts of that cutscene for it to actually give me the password. But I think if you just stand in place, uh, you're okay. All right, card five. Now you get yours. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Ta Come get it. <laughs> <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Balance is restored. <laughs> Hello? Bored? <laughs> if that killed him, I was... <laughs> okay. Okay. So I, I actually have to program in... All right, it's not going to be a problem for the next battle because I'm not going to use a triple attack, but um, Bored does not know the other programs. They only programmed things on cart five. So I have to remember after I level up to actually program the triple swing mm -hmm. again. Speaking of Bored's Majesty, I have a $15 donation from JGO that just says, ah! <laughs> <laughs> This is the end. No, Quite. just kidding. It's me again. <laughs> So he actually did follow Fake Mayor's rule. Mm -hmm. He locked himself up. <laughs> so that I would free him and get captured. He knew. He had the strats. Yep. All right, so this room's really, really scary because there's invisible enemies here uh, called ninjas, believe it or not. Um, ninjas are incredible. Like, you can fight them at level 80 and still just get bodied. Yes, we are. Yes, we are? Yeah, I'm Bob the Ninja Goldfish. Oh. Yeah, here's a point. Huh. Uh, what did I get? This one. 
Mint again, I don't know what she does in these places. <laughs> yeah, I'll do something about these mice. She's a yeah, mice you got magnet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here. Surprise horn doesn't help against the mice. Yeah, no. <laughs> Just destroy the mice. <laughs> All right, let's go. So yeah, we got dropped down the garbage chute and we ended up down here. Um, there's an elevator that gets us back up, but the elevator doesn't have any power. So this button, man-sized button on the ground, restores power <laughs> to the elevator. <laughs> now we can go back up. Um, for those of you who are wondering, Cart 5 is going to be dead for the rest of the game. <laughs> uh, there is no advantage to having three robots alive, because when you switch robots, it cycles in order. You can't actually pick which robot you want to come in next. Um, so if three robots are alive, I have to go through s two robot rotations uh. to get the attacking robot back in. All right, Mint, get in the elevator. Uh. <laughs> She's going on She's ahead. gone. Yeah. <laughs> She cares not for physics. No, oh, this big head is, uh... Excuse me. <laughs> face man. Big face. Big face is not having any of it. No. So this is another really scary area because um, all these doors are password protected. And I only have the red password right now. And if you go through the wrong door, it's just a one-way door and you're locked out. Because uh, the south door is always open, but then the north door would be password protected. And if you don't have it, you can't backtrack. And then you have to go through like a five-minute detour to get back on track. <laughs> So, oh gosh. This is a uh, you. All right, let's listen to his hard luck story. He has an unfortunate time here. When the fortress exploded, I barely got out. The eternal janitor <laughs> was my sentence. A no-run program to keep me here. Yep. Yeah, the hundred-year janitorial sentence is one thing, but the eternal janitor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he gives us yellow passwords so we can go beat up the guys. Hopefully, I actually got it. Yes. Is that kind of something that could happen too, where there's a problem with that one? Or I've never had that one be a problem, but it's today, so. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Yeah. I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this place should look familiar. We have to go fight Bug Bug again. Um, the first time we had to fight him was because he had my father's memory. This time we have to fight him because Blackmore is being prevented from moving by a no-run program. Uh, so apparently if we just destroy Bug Bug, then that's gone. <laughs> Bug Bug just can't cut a, cut a break. He's just doing his job, man. Still, I mean... Bug Bug 2. We meet again! Yes, I have one. <clears throat> Alright, so this guy is really annoying. He still has very little chance of actually hitting me, but... Now he has confusion. <laughs> <laughs> Board's grand debut. <laughs> First hit. So that's the second time I've ever been hit by him. <laughs> Come on, Board, you can do it. Squaw! <laughs> oh, good, and confusion. This is nice. This is quality. So when you're confused, um, you don't get to actually move for two turns. Robot just like wanders around and tries to use attacks that don't exist. Uh, and then we get to go again. Yeah, this bug bug has really high defensive strats. stats, too. Yeah. Yeah, and he's run resistant as well, so I can't do the triple swing on him. Uh, D Rose and Bug Bug are the only two bosses that have run resistance. So for all of the other bosses, I'm going to be doing the triple swing whenever possible. Uh, because it's a lot stronger, and the chance of crit will make it do... <laughs> Really? So that's Our laser and the, the laser bomb and the hockey puck launcher. Yep. <laughs> wow. Board, please. That's this is why you bought your uh, your hardware store. Yeah, when I go back to Toko, I might buy the shop out of repairs. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what we want him to do. Normally, when he hits you, he'll walk like six tiles away, so you can't actually get a back attack. But sometimes he'll just shift one row up. Oh. Good crit. Good crit. Nice. Yeah, so when we can get back attacks on him, it's really, really good. And you can sometimes get him in like a weird AI cycle. <laughs> wow. This robot is... 
<laughs> so this I is what you donated for, yeah. folks. <laughs> I want to point out. This is this is how we get our time back. Yeah. <laughs> Crabs so, couldn't do it. I was always skeptical. Uh, and I, I used to think that the robots had differences. That's right, Bored. You show them. You show them the business. <laughs> I thought that Robot 2 had a stronger physical attack and Robot 3 had other advantages and whatnot. But all of the robots are functionally identical. Just want to throw that out there. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a book even that you can read, and it's like, oh yeah, the different robots are different. Yeah. One is has better special, yep. which doesn't mean anything. It but... doesn't mean anything at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Robot 2 excels at uh, melee attacks. Sure, but all of them do. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's, the ro it's the robot book, the one that you first read at the beginning of the game. It yeah. tells you all kinds of misleading information that you shouldn't listen to. And I went through and, and tested kind of extensively about the, the differences in how much damage they do, what their hit rate is, what mm -hmm. their crit rate is. And as far as I've seen, every robot has the same chances and stats. So, yeah, that's just flat wrong. Mm -hmm. and don't listen to books. <laughs> don't listen to books. <laughs> there you go, kids. All right, confusion again. The worst confusion luck I've ever had was four different instances of confusion in a fight. Two is pretty standard, honestly. That's not unfortunate. Nice. That's not there bad luck. So, all right, board, you did it. <laughs> Go board. <laughs> Squaw. <laughs> Remember to set up run. Yes, thank you. Can I read a donation while you're doing this? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. I've got a $10 donation from Vise the Legend. He says, I'm back, everybody. I can find out about the last donation I made earlier behind her back. Uh, she was a little mad and maybe threatened to throw me off to Crescent Island. But once she learned about the good work you're all doing, and she said she'd call it off if I managed to win the bid on it. So here's another 10 gold towards naming Surge after me. And always remember that the Blue Rogues of Arcadia have your back. Thank you for your donation. So board is about to score. Board is about to score. Happy now? We've named a special. We did it. <laughs> we named a few other ones. There was no and there was yes. Oh, yeah, that's right. There were a bunch of A's. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if you look real closely, you'll be able to see it for a few frames every few turns. All right, so we have liberated Blackmore. Um, the whole point of, uh, of talking to him, besides laughing at his eternal janitor sentence, is uh, he knows where Tira is kept, and he has the key. Why? I don't know. He's a janitor. He's a janitor. He's right. He should have it. And he I know. can't escape from the bathroom. <laughs> well. <laughs> but you got to right, think so about it. Those guys that go to the bathroom all the time probably talk while, you know, so yeah. he's probably overheard things. What about that stall that's just empty? That's Good. where he lives. <laughs> 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 He's got some hay. Yeah. <laughs> a bucket. That's where he lives. <laughs> like a bucket in the corner. <laughs> like a, a bucket in the corner because he can't walk outside. He's, <laughs> He's not allowed to. Yeah. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> All right. Oh, dang it. Come on. Come on out. How'd they see me when I'm vanished? They look for shadows. My one weakness. All right, so Tira is impressive. Not only does she have a terrible grasp on English, but she doesn't actually know she's been kidnapped. It's big, full of people, and interesting. <laughs> <laughs> with a fortress like this, you don't fear the hackers? Tira, what's the matter with you? <laughs> I hadn't noticed. <laughs> I can't just sit still. What have you been yeah. doing for the last several hours? <laughs> Looking at the blinky screen. Using the bathroom? I don't know. Uh-oh, time to take action. It's the Hacker's Fortress. You come too. I am Gateau, yes. I'm a hostage? That's awful. Step aside. <laughs> 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 She's not having any of this. <laughs> Outside was outer space. Gato is okay. This way it's easy to get out. It's outer space. You can go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I don't know, man. She... I think she's been drinking. Drinking that special hacker uh, cocktail. 
All right, Choco, I'm going to go to the tool shop. <laughs> <laughs> You're coming with me. We are at uh, 320. Yeah, plenty of time. Yep. What would you like? Everything, please. Yeah, <laughs> one of each. <laughs> Except repairs, it's like 30 of those. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, just literally everything in the store. <laughs> and you? Can you work for me? <laughs> Alright, so Napoleon started off as a robot, and then he smashed himself into a wall and became scrap, and then they turned that scrap into film. What? Yes. <laughs> we are watching Napoleon right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good job, Napoleon. Yes. <laughs> really and, moving uh, up. Despite, I don't even know what, I don't even, I really don't know what timeline Broken Napoleon was on, but apparently no, he knows all the intimate inner workings of the fortress. Uh, so, that's how we know their secrets? Yeah, I don't. When they start playing around with multiple timelines, but also don't care, <laughs> things get very confusing. <laughs> so, based on uh, Napoleon's film, they were able to devise secret weapon. And of course, it's up to me. I'm the only one that's ever seen combat still. And yeah. I drew the red straw again. <laughs> All of them. Oh. <laughs> Even the blue one was somehow red for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had the, the chameleon glasses on. <laughs> All right. So we got three jars of jelly. That's the secret weapon. We got the raspberry, the blueberry, and yellow. Yellow. Lemon curd, maybe? I, mean, I don't know. No, it's yellow. Oh, just, it's just yellow. yellow. <laughs> they forgot the purple jar. Oh. Yeah. And we don't have to go. Yay. All right. To the tool shop. I'm not going to forget. Yeah. Um, so we've got probably 25 minutes, depending on what Ghetto feels like. Yeah. Um, yeah. At the very most, we should have 25 minutes. Yeah. Uh, it might be good to catch up on some of the upcoming donation incentives yeah, that will close off soon. Yeah, I was, I was, soon. Yeah, I was literally about, I was about to do that while you were buying everything in the store. <laughs> um, <laughs> we've got uh, right up after we finish here with Robotrek. We have uh, Yao Kai Watch. Sorry, I hiccuped in the middle of my sentence there. Um, that's very professional. Uh, we did hit the glitched final boss. That 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 was met uh, earlier today or last night, I think. Uh, the naming for Jabanyan is at Catboo. Now has sixty-five dollars. Go Catboo. Go Catboo. Oh. Uh, but Magoo is still taking the crown with one hundred and five dollars. Um, we have Komasan currently is still going to be a bumpkin. That's the name. It's bumpkin. <laughs> I don't think you can escape that. Yeah. No. Um, uh, Venoct has been named Purity for $20. And Wild Kappa, uh, currently has Taiho for $25. Um. You go, Taiho. Yeah. Yep. After that, however, we do have uh, Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix begin at any percent coming up. And one of the donation centers in that is the level one unknown battle, which is to fight one of the hardest bosses in the game at level one. And that is currently sitting at $110 out of 500. So if you want to see that, you might want to uh, start putting some money towards that as well. And then we have the Gummy Ship, which is Toji Sucks at $20. Lockwood at $30, Riku sucks at $35, and then Vegeta God at $160. <laughs> One of these doesn't belong. <laughs> I will point out that the Vegeta God donation was the one that got us bored. Yeah. So, uh, go Vegeta God. And then Parasite Eve after that, we've got uh, the naming for, An for Aya. You have Mother at $1, and then you have Dilbert 3 at $30.01. <laughs> nice. Because reasons, I guess. Uh, and then I will say, uh, the Robotrek cart that was kindly donated by the Sid, um, 
the uh, that does close at the end of this game. So if you want to try and get in your ten dollar minimum donation, that does close at the end of RoboTrack. So get get in on that if you want it. Um, we can have a look at some of the prizes that would be coming up for Yaokai Watch as well. Um, Going where? The wind has no destination. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> We've also had two Gundam models added, donated by one of our awesome chat mods, Chano, uh, for Robotrack. So if you do oh. $5 minimum donations on that, you can also uh, win yourself some cool Gundam models. Sweet. Yeah. And then in for Yaokai Watch, there's, some, there's a 3DS case. There's a 3DS, uh, 3DS XL case. There's a there's a plush. There's all kind of cool stuff for Yaokai Watch, and that's all uh, ten dollars and five dollar minimum bids. So you got a lot of cool stuff coming up if you want to uh, get your donations. In. And if across the entire marathon you donate thirty dollars, you will be entered into the drawing for our grand prize, which is the PS4 that was donated no, 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 by Red, Rose Centra. Red Jar, you go back in there. <laughs> So these, uh, these little beam things, if you cross them, enemies don't come up, but uh, these tiles right there are raised, and it oh, makes yeah. an impassable wall, and you have to wait like 10 seconds for it to come back. It's really, really clunky. This room is so awkward to try and get through quickly. Well, at the very least, you're not being assaulted by ninjas. Correct. All right, and... Actually, I shouldn't care about this one, I don't think. Actually, I, I think I do care about this one still. I don't care about the next one. Alright. So, yeah, you have to put these jars on here in the right order. Uh, red, yellow, blue on the right reactors. And then uh, when you do that, the entire place just immediately blows up. <laughs> It's powerful jelly. That's a lot of powerful jelly you got here. So now we escape. Um, We're awfully final... good at this blowing up thing. Oh yeah, yeah, that, yeah. W that's our specialty. <laughs> Alright, Big Kazam, don't make a mess of it. Sure thing, boss. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I made a mess of it, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just getting practice. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so the uh, there are two final bosses here. Well, two, I guess two forms of the same one. Whatever, same thing. Um, first one's going to be coming up pretty soon. I just have to take the elevator up, and then we're right there. So these two bosses are uh, pretty awful. They can cost a bajillion minutes, or they can be really quick and harmless. Um, I know which one I'm rooting for, <laughs> but we're going to see what the game wants. Um, I have two vanishes still. I'm just going to let this one expire. It's going to be killed at this cutscene here. Gone. Bam. Oh, nobody. Somehow Napoleon's back and has been reprogrammed by us at some point during that... in between now and that other cutscene we watched. And I'm not really sure how... Things happened. We're here. Well, you can't blow up the bridge. I was going to blow up the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, it's personal now. <laughs> you can only blow up that tiny part. I'll finish the job. I'll blow up the whole bridge. We have a board. I'll blow up this bridge and a bridge black back home. <laughs> All right. He's going to toss us across this pit. Thanks. Phew. All right, so I have X, Turbo Pack, that. Everybody's good. We're ready. There are ninjas in this room. I found that out a few weeks ago. <laughs> excuse, excuse me. So oh. last time we'll see Big Face. Rip. Memorize Rip. it well. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to bother refreshing this. I should be able to make it all the way. All right, so... 
the first form of Ghetto is uh, him and two guards. And we don't want to kill the guards, because the guards occupy turns that he could use to kill us. So we're going to let the guards live. Um, but uh, this is a really awkward thing, because those guards... That's a strong attack. Okay. That's the one that can crit us. His other attacks are not bad. Um, That's what you think. <laughs> so when those guys use the laser, if my robot blinks red afterwards, it's mean, it means that the run command has been disabled. And I can't use the triple swing. I could have gotten a back attack. Oh! oh! <laughs> Ford is showing him what fur right now. <laughs> He's showing his back, and I'm not disabled. He is getting the business. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now I'm disabled. Yeah. So now I have to do a normal X swing. So that crit that I got saved about 15 turns. <laughs> it's uh, an 830 damage crit versus doing 60 with a normal attack. It is a pretty big time savings. <laughs> So this is what the battle is normally like. The guards will shoot and disable the run commands. Ooh. You'll get critted by him once in a while. Um, and then you just revive and keep trying. I'm going to accidentally revive card five. You are. One of these. And he's going to show him he's one gonna, forward. Yeah. <laughs> Sword one. <Yeah. laughs> Eight. Yeah, this boss is really, really scary. A block there is great. I mean, we, we kind of don't want the soldiers to go, because then we'll get the disable beam. Um, when he attacks, we won't get disabled, so we have a higher DPS, but it also has a significantly higher chance of killing us. So, overall, this fight's been exceptional. Wow. Yeah, that's oh, wow. one death on him is about as perfect as you can get. Hopefully level 27. All right, so if we're level 28, we can't have max charge, and having max charge helps a little... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. It helps a little bit for the final fight. It's not It's not like a make-or-break thing. Um, it just means that he only gets one ram attack off instead of two or more. Okay, so that fight was ridiculously good. Uh, this might actually PB, which makes me so sad. <laughs> So my PB, with loads of room to save because this game's RNG, uh, is a 3.39 and some change. And this section usually takes six minutes. So... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. My favorite, most best motivational speech. Well, Big Kazam, your father and I like you a lot. I'm sure you're important to your friends, <laughs> so be careful, go for broke. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Is that Mom or is that Nagisa? It's Nagisa. I was so say. Nagisa, they, they mention it here. Like, our, our mom, she must have passed away or something before, or, I don't know, before now. Yeah. And our father built Nagisa to look exactly like our mother and then just not tell us that she's an android. <laughs> He's a jerk. <laughs> Big Kazam, great name. A present from your father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're walking in, I don't know, the, the, Gato built this machine with the Tetron, so like space time is all It's the Mode 7 up. machine. Yeah, <laughs> and they, they also needed an, an excuse to shoehorn in the classic quintet, like wavy star pattern. <laughs> they're like, we're all out of game. Hold on. <laughs> How about just the background? <laughs> Let's just give the boss a final form, it'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. All right, so the final form, this is this is where the real time swings happen. The final form has two attacks. Well, technically three, but um, two attacks. So we'll either use a ram attack, which costs one second, or we'll use a lengthy time warp animation, which is like 14 or 15 seconds long and has a high chance of killing me. Um, if you get a crit, you save five turns. So one single critical hit saves over a minute most of the time. And he's still using X3, so yep. still 1 in 16 shot at that. Yeah. Uh, I think you're, you said your best is like 3 crits three, on him? Yep. I've yeah. gotten 3 crits a few times, but never 4. I've also had many battles with none. <laughs> That's, yeah. So. Yeah, here we go. And before you ask, I have no idea what this boss is. I've, you, you just use your imagination. Easy to erase you with my own hand. 
All right, here we go. Unicorn fish machine. Unicorn fish. Good. We want him to use that. Yeah. So you can't actually uh, get a back attack on him, can you? No. No, there's no room, and you, he doesn't move at all. Yeah. So this is the time warp attack. The time warp will uh, change the background to one of four options. This one's fine. It's just a snowball meteor thing. Um, it can still kill me, but it has a relatively low chance. There's another one on a beach that's uh, the fire counterpart to that attack, uh, which is also fine. He has one on top of rooftops that drops bombs, and that's a really low chance of hitting me. And then there's the commando background. Yeah, the commando yeah, I've seen is one's... bad news. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> we'll take it. I'm waiting for flashing numbers. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> Keep waiting. On you, not yeah, him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy has uh, 5,400 health, I think. Oh. Just a raw <laughs> hit. <laughs> Just get back there. <laughs> That's all right, we got 27 repairs left. <laughs> and we got 25 minutes to fight him. <laughs> <laughs> Buckle up. <laughs> so I don't think those attacks or the bomb can crit, but the commando can crit, and the yeah. smash at the, the ram attack can crit. This is... Ooh. Confusion? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So that attack is what he'll use if he wants to use a ram attack, but you're not next to him. Um, it's equally unlikely to hit you. I've never seen confusion from that, though. Uh, but that's the ideal situation there. He uses a ram attack and I block it. You learn new things every day. Yeah. Huh. Now we learn that sword Except one today, is a drop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> today, when you learn five new things. <laughs> All the snowballs. No crits yet. Board's gonna have to work real hard to get that... get that title. It's coming. It's coming. He's, he's just building up steam. Yeah. This is going to be rooftop. No. Wow. <laughs> he really likes Iceland. <laughs> he wants to be the new snowman hacker. <laughs> <laughs> this has got to be Commando. He's overdue. He is long overdue. No? Okay. Hmm. Come on, board. <laughs> Pick up the slack. You got this. <laughs> oh, God. Since we may be here a minute, have I got time for a couple of donations? Um. <laughs> we might want to wait on those. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> Just said it all, really. 43. Ooh, nice wow. hit. Yeah. Confusion. I was actually concerned that it was Rust, like the poison status effect oh, in this yeah. game. Because it would have it would have missed, the attack would have missed, and then the poison tick would have killed me immediately afterwards. That's what I was expecting. So you still get afflicted by status even if it misses? Oh, oh yeah. there we go. Yeah, yeah, you do. All right, come on, board. Just a few more of those. One in 16 shot. Uh, uh -oh. Here's the commando. Oh, yeah. This is bad. Bazooka <laughs> Joe. Tang. So I blocked one of them, but I'm still going to get killed, I'm pretty sure. Whoa! Oh! Wow. <laughs> okay, okay. Board will not go quietly yeah. tonight. <laughs> no, he's going to go screaming at the top of his lungs. Anti-air <laughs> All right, this is fine. I mean, it's probably going to kill me, but this is an attack that I'm looking forward to. Same missiles, oh my God. Same missiles that Blackmar had. The chat would like to vote board president at this point. <laughs> so, at the very oh, least, thank you're, God we didn't you're, you're not PB. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, should I have done more side quests? <laughs> Uh, is this dead? Probably. Probably. <laughs> All right. I don't even know, man. It's just me and my tank treads on the beach. 
<laughs> Board cares not for Gatu's flipper trip, apparently. <laughs> you know what I haven't seen in a while is the snowman. <laughs> he, he knew it would hit sooner or later. Fair. <laughs> yeah. There's a 10 damage swing on all of your attacks, so it's centered around one number, but plus or minus five from that uh, is your damage range. One. <laughs> That's a pretty good cut. That's a pretty good cut. I want to remind you, he has two shields and a shield pack and max guard. <laughs> One. <laughs> so there we go. There's there's kind of some perspective. That is why Commando is dangerous. One hundred times the damage of the other one. All right, come on. Show me your best flashing number. They have a lot of favorite flashing numbers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Board has seen this too I many times. Know, he is he is immune. <laughs> seen some things at this point. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Do, 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 do. I'm a coming. I'm a coming. <laughs> <laughs> you get back yeah. here, you. <laughs> Dude, come on. Swing harder. Harder. There we go. Oh, yeah. 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 That's, is that time? That's right. time. Yeah. Okay. 342, 12, 12. I don't even know what to say about that run. That, I really don't. That beats your older SDA run, doesn't it? It does, yeah. So how yeah. do you feel about the three-robot Scrooge McDuck tactic? The, yeah, the Scrooge <laughs> McDuck. You, there's something to be said about that. Yeah. The three-robot tactic. Oh, Big as they have a crisis. <laughs> yeah, so these uh, these credits are like 14 minutes long or something. So So it, it's just it's, enough uh, time to fill out the rest of your SDA. That's right, yeah. <laughs> We could all maybe sit in silence and watch them. Do you see the look Vula is giving you right now? Like, the daggers are real. Not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so this, this music is like, yeah, whatever. It's all right. And then it goes into, like, complete diversion from the rest of every... If you want good music, though, we could reset and I could go to the developer room. Yeah, yeah. You that's, want to? some great music. We okay. had all the developer room. It's like a 30-second detour. All right, farewell credits. It's not going to make any more sense if you watch them, so. <laughs> no. <laughs> we don't get to see Halloween Town, though. Halloween, yeah, Halloween Town, that's right. That's Do we fine. wait for Halloween Town? Okay. I don't think so. It's like five minutes in. It's not worth it. So Developer Groom is... So when I first found it, I laughed myself to tears and was un unable to speak for several minutes. But I'm also an idiot, so it's probably going to be far less amusing to everybody else. All right. Come here, mouse. Just for perspective, here are all of the other weapons that I didn't use. Right. Robot. <laughs> Ro <laughs> Ro <laughs> you guys missed out on your naming. <laughs> I've made I've made some decisions I'm not proud of. <laughs> All right, so you get the cyber jack and it lets you enter computers and whatnot, but we can go back to my father's house and enter his computer. Oh, no. I do not recommend trying this at home. Ever. <laughs> so here we are. This is a developer room with uh, this music. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good summary of Robo's <laughs> Literally the first person in the developer room. I don't have much time for <laughs> One of these guys is an actual robot. This guy here. Sometimes this place. Yeah. I don't know. You can talk to all these people and they say things that are cool. Can you buff down? <laughs> Damn right. Fuck Fuck this <laughs> we don't provide them. <laughs> Wait, what's this? There aren't enough. There aren't enough <laughs> chips. <laughs> Serious. Okay. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> Too take, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, man. This game <laughs> is just like... That's a good place to leave, yeah. I think. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's draw much. <laughs> we can uh, we can move right on. To that, yeah, I, think. I, think, I don't think it gets any better than that. Is it really? <laughs> the marathon's over. You've done it, BJ. We're done. Good work, everybody. We we made it. Uh, oh man, thanks for watching. That was awesome. That was yeah. a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Stick uh, around. Plenty more good stuff in the future. Yep. Huh. And what we're going to do is, while we're setting up for the next game, we'll go ahead and throw it over to a commercial break. Ow! That was my knee. You will be. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. What? I was like, <laughs> What did you do? All right, we have a bunch of donations here. We have a $10 anonymous donation. Huh? Love to see the running community come together for events like this. <laughs> was that from the game? <laughs> I guess it was. All right, love to, love to see the running community come together for events like this. Makes me proud to be a part of it. Donation incentive goes to PJ's Choice. Thank you, Anonymous. We have $25 from Devil Ray. Hello, PJ. Nice to see that you've somehow re reverse broke Robotrek so hard that you're rolling in dough. How about we give that surplus to Nami? Putting this towards Archdemon in Se uh, Seiken 3 because we can't have things be that easy for you. Thank you, Devil. <laughs> All right, and $30 from... Uh, Co-play Chase, El Chaso123. This has been one of the most entertaining runs to watch, and I love the cause this is going towards. I'm not sure what to put my money towards, so let's just say runner's choice. Hilarious run, keep up the great work. Thank you very much. $10 anonymous donation. Come get some. 
I missed this run, so I'm not sure if that's a reference, but uh, we have a $200 donation from Lunatic. Thank you very much, sir. You can do it, board, you sexy lime alien. Thank you very much. And Mr. Cab donates $20. PJ is awesome. Got to agree. We're just setting up for Yokai Watch with our next game here. Should be an interesting watch. Day in the forest. Was the day everything changed? Thank you. 